to be Hex, you dick. Am I still too loud? No, oh, you're much better. It's true. Okay, I've it's just... true. I, I've maxed out Discord and turned it down in the system. Okay, you need to take up slightly the system then, because you're, you're saying good, but you're slightly quieter than usual. Okay, uh, I'll try that. Uh, test equals... Okay. Matt has two rounds. That's too ones. loud now. That's not too loud now. You've gone all grainy. Like you're crushing your input. What? It sounds fine to me. What are you on about? I'm sorry, man. I'm telling you, man. I can hear this shit. Like, literally, I moved it like half half a millimeter. I don't know what to tell you, man. Is it still too loud or too. No, just leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm fuck, fuck it. It's fine. <clears throat> I'll turn you down in here. Turn it back to where you had it when we said it was good. And I'll just turn you up in Discord. I don't know where it was. <sighs> okay, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. We'll just is leave it too it. loud or too quiet? I mean, what ha what it is is not that you're loud. It's that like you're crushing the mic. Like there's, there's too much input on the mic. Also, All I think right, try that. Ah, that's better. That's better. I think we've got okay. it. Okay. Right, I'm not touching anything now. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, Cyrus. Okay, Cyrus is not touching anything. Hey, Elas, how you doing? We're uh, we we do some stadia trials today. Um, I oh, talk I'll to just... my chat, please. Thanks. Oh what? I mean, oh, well, they're not your not chat. Hopes. They're not your chat. They're my chat. <laughs> you fuck. Uh, so. Oh, also, we're not going to be streaming long. I've got kind of a stomachache, and I don't know why. It's like I barely eat anything. I shouldn't have a stomachache. Maybe that's why. <laughs> no, I had a meal. Stadia stomachaches. Fact. Empirically speaking, yeah. Uh, I should probably try and set this up. I, actually, I? I watched somebody trying to disassemble one of the Stadia controllers earlier. Oh, they're impossible to get open, aren't they? He he literally ended up taking a Dremel to it. Yeah, I did, that's stupid, man. I mean, they're designed... No, I, I actually think it's not a bad thing, really. Well, what? What, opening your control up so you can't use it anymore? Well, no, the fact that, like, they haven't made them really easy to get into. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It's, you know why they've done it? It's so they, it's, it's make it harder to cheat. Because with SCSI Stadia, you haven't got access to the hard firmware. Mm -hmm. The only method for cheating is to hook stick into the controller. And they just don't want you doing that, so they've sealed them. You know, it makes sense. Okay. Right, okay. Here we go. Test okay. one. Right. Test one. This is me with my finger on the the A button, okay? Right. Oh, he's got the camera there. Okay. Smart. See? That was immediate, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to try it on the keyboard and mouse. Okay. Okay. Is anyone, has anyone got any questions about that? Because this is an educational <laughs> stream. Because everyone's going to, the first thing everyone's going to do, right? This is what's going to happen, my prediction, right? At the moment, we've only got Lask89 here, right? Lask, right? What's going to happen is every single person that's going to come in is going to go, How's the lag? How's the lag? Every I do person. have questions. Okay. First of all, you've got it wired. Is that into your PC? Yes, this is into my PC. You have to have it wired if you're not using the Chromecast Ultra until the first firmware update. They are fixing that. Right, okay. So, therefore, you've instantly removed some of the lag, yes? Yeah. Well, the well, the controller connects by Wi-Fi directly to the Stadia server. So, there's no... So, like, it's probably as low latency as, as, wire, as like, wired, to be honest. It's, like, it's probably the question, lowest latency the controller ever designed because it's Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. My other question is completely unrelated to Stadia as a thing. It is, I have not played Destiny 2. I've Neither have I. Destiny 1. You are playing the first level of Destiny. Well, the intro to Destiny One. I'm confused. Yes, yeah, so am I. Uh, okay, uh, Cardival said, "Do you need a good internet connection?" Yes. Uh, there's your answer. Yes. Uh, I can. Yeah, I mean, basically, it, it, it's on the internet. Of course, you. If uh, you have a good internet my connection, my connection is uh, good. Uh, you can only go as far as excellent on a Chromecast Ultra. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to leave the keyboard overlay, I'm going to leave the camera overlay on for a little bit, right? The reason I'm going to do that is so we can see what's happening, okay? Now people probably want to see my mouse hand as well, don't they? So let's just, uh, there you go, that's we probably good. Take my strong hand. Okay, so. 
Okay. Right. So it feels, right, it feels like it does if I play the game locally. Like, I'm not seeing any difference. I'm, there's, there's, like, there's basically no lag. I have a, a, another question, if that's yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I am noticing things aren't as sharp as they could be, but I'm wondering if that's to do with your stream rather than the... Okay, this is, this is sharp, as in it's not... Okay, it's, I don't know. It's like, it's sharp, right? This game's sharp, but it's not, I don't know, it looks like, it's like, you know, like, it's like, it's like YouTube video, it's like high-end YouTube video sharp. It's never quite as sharp as local rendering, right? But, that said, um, you're also... If I take a Twitch. screenshot and uh, send, and put it in, like, Steam Team related, okay. um, right. then... You can tell me if we're getting... Okay, I'll send you a screenshot of what I'm seeing. How about that? And you send me a screenshot okay. of what you're seeing. Um, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll wait until you're actually in the game to... Okay. Yeah. Because I think these were... things are worth like. No, no, talking no I about. agree. Absolutely agree. Okay. Right. I'll upload that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let's do again the 3, 2, 1, jump. 3, 2, 1, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Yeah, I, I feel like that's like basically no latency. Okay. I mean, like <laughs> from looking at the, I can't see any. I can't see any uh, latency. No, uh, but they're getting you know without like slowing it down. As, but yeah, it, okay, it nice. certainly seems acceptable. But I would say it doesn't appear as sharp as I would. I think it's if you look at my screenshot, is that sharper? So I think it might be less like. We've been yeah, I like, think the screenshots a touch sharper. I would say it doesn't like. I think a we're looking at a game that isn't like designed to be particularly like graphically. Uh, you know, it's not phenomenal graphically. I mean, it's a good graphically, but it's it's not a game. You know, it's better than anything I've developed. Well, yeah, I'm not criticizing it. <laughs> Don't take it that way. I mean, we're gonna, this I mean, is literally the first level of the original game. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know, really, though. You should fight a bloke around a ship in a bit. And then steal the ship and leave. Sorry, spoilers, but it's, you know, it's the. Spoilers! Board, there's gonna be shooting. <laughs> really? I brought you back for a reason, Guardian. So yeah, I think maybe it's not got quite the fidelity of like a high-end PC I think, game. I think the reality but is right now I everyone think it's watching on this. With everyone watching this is being uber fucking critical. Well, yeah, because it's something new. We're gonna yeah. be. I mean, like I, I'm aware I of that. I think the reality is if you just throw it on and play it, like it's fine. Plus the fact In this is there's gonna be a uh, we're gonna see a lot of uh, improvements in the first two weeks as they balance it. Oh, yeah. And I think, you know, it's important to say that, you know, Drop the volume of touch. it's good to be uber critical because oh, yeah. let's, let's, you know, let's get Ooh. all those criticisms out and aware of, and then, Open you know, we settings. can move on to enjoy it or whatever. Game settings, video settings, Ooh. screen borders. Okay. There's no, there's no like, like quality settings, which would make sense because it's like set. The highest quality, presumably. Uh, actually, uh, apparently they Ultra. haven't done that. They are doing that, but for the beta, which this is, yeah, it is a beta, um, glorified beta. They're, they're, they're kind of working it up. They're using this period of time to go. Let's find that, if your blade, you know, trouble, sweet spot. position, as it were, that that place where everyone's happy. Which makes sense again, and, and this is the criticism I have of people criticizing this at the minute. They're, they're forgetting this isn't a lawn. This is this is literally early access. But I mean, I have to say, it, it looks pretty impressive. Let's switch to the mouse. I'm slightly quicker on the mouse, so let's find if I can uh, let's see if I can find the lag at all. I'm sure lag is there. Oh yeah, but it's like it's, it's whether or not it matters. Is that because anyone can say they perceive lag, right? But the reality is, does it is it enough lag to matter? Also, I've had an email, so I should probably, I'm going to leave the email. I think the thing is, people also forget, like, 
Wireless mice cause lag. Wireless controllers cause lag. Um, I, I don't think lag is the be-all and end-all of an enjoyable experience. I think when it's drastic, yeah. When I think we're, actually, I think I think we're using the wrong word. I think lag is the wrong word. I think we need to be talking about latency specifically yeah, latency. because, like, we keep saying lag, and that's not really the right word for what we're looking for. What's this? I don't know what that is. I have to say, though, if you've got, like, Destiny 1 in Destiny 2, I am going to be a very, very happy man because I enjoyed Destiny immensely. How does comma? multiplayer stuff huh? work? I assume if the games... What, you mean local multiplayer? Mm, just, like, any online multiplayer? Do you have to like, well, I guess you have an account as usual? And... <laughs> You know, what you know, how's the matchmaking work and stuff? I I don't know honestly. Um, I do know one thing. I need to uh, I need to check because I don't want my. I think I'm broadcasting audio. I don't want to broadcast audio. Who you're speaking to? No one right now. There you go. That'll that'll help. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so what's this about switching to energy weapons? What's what's that about? Is a key I can get key monitors. There's different types of weapons, aren't there? And you... uh, key mappings. Okay, we've got key mappings. That's good. We had some ludicrous key then for switching to any... Oh, switching to energy weapons. The fuck is that button? The fuck is that? What is that? That's, that, that's a comma. That's the thing next to one, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't got one. you got to remember. Do you see my keyboard? Oh, yeah. I ain't got those keys. you got a keyboard. He's got half of one. He's got two halves of a keyboard. Okay, my mouse wheel can do that. It's fucking pointless. Okay. This is amazing. I can play Pokemon and watch you stream at the same time. Did you not play that before? <laughs> no, because I only have one monitor. <laughs> oh, if you got both set up. I, I mean, I've still got basically picture. a one and a half monitor because it's a complete mess. The second one. Well, the, the old problem one is here. you're going to get hooked now. You're going to want a second monitor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Two monitor setups destroy you for anything but two monitor setups. Okay. And then you can a... go full heck and have three. Hey, three monitors is fine. <laughs> Never go full hex. I'm supercharged. What does any of this mean? You get a, a special attack uh, depending on what like class you are and stuff like that. It can, you know, do numerous things. I think one of them is, like, you can go invisible. Hit him with everything you've got. That was kind of pointless. There you go, okay. there's your super attack. Yeah. I had to press F. Press F, bitches. I mean, it's it not help. pointless, and they do help, but it's one of those things you kind of... This, I don't want to... I don't want to patronise you by saying you've got to learn to play Destiny. I just mean you've got to... Uh, it has its way of being played, and, and it's different. Okay. It's weird. This is literally the first level from the first... I've only played the first test. Um, my melee weapon? The, the enemies are different. Press V. I don't know what that does. You get three different powers. You could probably look that stuff up. Have you actually selected your character yet, or did yeah, you? Yeah, I did character selection. Yeah. What did you go for? Uh, the warlocky looking one. Ah, uh, right. Robot or human or human. I always play human. I don't play the na nasty aliens, do I? Human or white human. What? Uh, there's like a really sort of white skinned. Oh, like 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 a, like a like yeah, I don't know. Is there what's my melee weapon open? Settings, controls, melee. Amy shooty, key bapping, melee, melee. C, no, 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 up. There you go. Grenade. What's grenade? Q was grenade, wasn't it? F, Q. Grenade, back. Okay. Oh, I saw my new mouse earlier. 8-bit do have made a mouse that looks like an old NES controller. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I'm not sure why people want it, though. Because it's beautiful. 
we go the wrong way then. I mean, you know, I'm sure people feel the same way about trackball. <laughs> I'm using the mouse right now. I might switch back actually to annoy everyone. Heads up. A fallen raiding party. There's more trouble than I thought. Ooh. Hello, there's people out here. This is different to the first one. There's other humans. There's other humans, mm -hmm. I think. I hate them, let's kill them all. You can't, you're gonna love the bit where you get your speeder bike. Who, who the fuck? I don't even know who's shooting at me here. Oh, okay. Kill the tank. Got it. It had a health bar. Figured it out. Probably don't want to stand directly in front of it. This, is, this is where it diverges. We're it seemed fine. like the first game when you were playing it. I wonder if they've done that on purpose. And then it's diverged there. He's scanning for nearby shit. Why is this why is this guy talking to me constantly and where do I make him stop? He's your ghost and uh, you can't make him stop, but he does kind of stop by nature because you know, there's only so much to tell you. But he is kind of important for the story. Or He's he getting on my nerves. Peter Dinklish in the first one. Until they got rid of him. Not a north <laughs> in this one. I think it sounds like not a north anyway. Yeah, they, they replaced him with Nolan North. Like, they literally redid all the lines from the original after they got Peter Dinklage in. It's because Nolan doesn't share. Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to be too cautious. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's what it was. Fuck off, tanky fuck. Which I'm pretty confident Nolan North could have done a damn good Peter Dinklage impression. But Nolan North do it every once. I always liked in Saints Row, can't remember which one it was, you could play as a male, a female, or, or Nolan North. North. Saints Row 4, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Was that the one where if you chose anything other than Nolan North, it would go, Are you sure? Because Nolan North's an option. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Saints Row. They're, they're, they're redoing the second game, the port of it on PC. This is mine! Go away! This is mine! Go away! Mine! Go out to right. I don't know, I shot him, he went away. I have to say, I do love the robot characters. They're so well animated and stuff. You can do, like, battle damage on them, so they've got half their heads missing. Where am I going now? I'm going this way. Oh, shut up! I'm pla- I'm out- I'm looking round! Oh, there's another one of them fucking things I'm going. Is that thing all day long that just spawns up waiting for new players? That's cute. Supercharged. You were also trying to shoot. Uh, I know, I'm trying. I can't kill them. They're hardy, man. You don't. Ah, oh, maybe this bit's back to the. You'll find a ship soon. And you have this dude to kill. I'll have a ship soon. I think. I think he's got like eight arms or something. That's fun. Woo! Another one of them. Loot. Yeet. I am a bit guy, not to be playing swap. To your power weapons. Why do you get it then? Honest answer? Skin. Yeah. Oh. Best reason. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to use it for everything from now on. This is the only weapon yeah. I fire from now on. It, it's November, Christmas is coming, and I have children. Skin. I yeah. I mean, I suppose I don't care about either, all of those things. So. You know, you can sell you them. Don't care children. about your children? What kind of a monster are you, Matt? <laughs> you heard that, didn't you, Hex? He just my said he didn't give a shit children. about his children. <laughs> well, fucking yeah. hell. Okay, that was fun. Matt, history's greatest monster. <laughs> oh, you're a bad guy. I thought you was like a little friend. You talk about me or in the game? No, no, you're not a friend. You're horrible. <laughs> you're my friend, Matt, 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 Matt. That doesn't care about his children. Ugh. Well, uh, makes it easier when you don't Think have of them. the children, Matthew. Think of the children. They want to. They're smelly. 
Okay, I've had lemon sip. How are you feeling now, anyway? I feel like shit. Uh, oh, you are a robot. Sorry, that went really high pitched there. I don't know what You're happened to my voice there. You're a robot! We're off to see the wizard! I turned into a lady. We need to turn some subtitles on because I do not want to listen to this guy. We haven't had many people come in and go, What's the latency like? I was expecting that to be every other sentence. What's the latency like? How do you feel about it? Do you feel like you're getting... I mean, there is latency. There's latency. But it's well within my tolerance. Like, I'm, like, I can play this fine. I've got no problem with the latency. There you go. Matt Frith. Thank you, Matt Frith. But, but do you feel like graphically you're getting a good experience? I mean, I think so. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, I've, I've only ever played, like, a tiny bit of Destiny 2 on, on Max's, like, shitty Windows PC. Yeah, it's a dude. Oh. You go back and kick the shit out of him. Like. Oh, by the way, I'm uploading this to YouTube, so don't say fuck. We can come back for them when you're ready. Let's oh, get crumbs. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Chris. Hello, Murder, she wrote. Oh, yeah. Murder, she wrote. Guess where we've just been from? Uh, we're screaming, Chris. So don't say fuck. Okay, I wouldn't say such a disgusting word anyway. What word? To... What word? Have you been to Cavett Cove? No, I've come from Lesbia Avenue. Oh God, he's still doing this bit. He's stuck. <laughs> stuck in a boot loop. There you I go, Scratch. Screwed. What's the lens like? What's the lens like? What's the lens like? I'm, uh... Well. I was going to ask that same question. Thank you, Scratch. Hold on, I'm turning him down. I've got, I've got Chris is loud today. Everyone Discord sentence seems to be slightly off. Right, clearly this is your end. You see, at first I thought it was me, but clearly it's you. Maybe me. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Wow. I feel. I feel like imagining things. I could be. I could stand further away from. The no, mic. it's fine. Come back. I've turned you down. I, I'm thinking of standing oh, okay. so far away from the mic that I'm just going to leave. You know. <laughs> Fuck off. What's this fucking plot? Why is it giving me plot? I don't like plot. So how are you finding it so far, Hex? Uh, it's fine. I mean, like, I know, I know really, I'm supposed yeah, to have... It's played about 10 minutes. I mean, I, I mean like, I've got, what, I'm 22 minutes in, right? And, and... I take it you're asking about Stadia, you're not actually asking about the game. Um, yeah, yeah, the board, what's the, what's the first impressions? I mean, the first impressions are, there is latency, right? But, mm -hmm. in my opinion, it's, it's well within tolerable. Like, it's, it's oh, fine. Okay. Um, like, I'm not having a problem playing. Yeah. So, the natural next question is, I'm assuming you have no buyer's remorse. No, no, not at all. I mean, like, as I said, if it had been a pile of shit, I bought this with YouTube videos in mind, right? So even if it had been a pile of shit, I've got no buyer's remorse. I'm not, whether it's good or not, I'm not, I'm kind of not that invested. And I know that sounds a bit daft, but it's like no, I no, bought no, no. it specifically but, with the intent of YouTube. Well, I kind of want you to be invested in the sense of if I'm going to put my money to yeah. on, you know, in this, then I want to know. So I'm leaving. I know I'm leaving it. my keyboard camera on pretty much the whole time, so people can mm -hmm. decide for themselves whether or not the you know people mm -hmm. decide for themselves. The it's not very good. I can't really get the angle right on it though. Make sure the cup of tea is in frame too. Very <laughs> important. Um, I think my other question would be. Uh, is do you think that people who are moaning on the internet currently are just making something out of nothing? I mean, and I know that's a really difficult position to put you in because obviously their experience would be different. I mean, than yours, the but reality just from is, your experience. The reality is, right? You're not rendering it locally. You're always gonna have latency. I mean, there's no. I mean, like the speed of light is a constant, mm -hmm. right? Where I come from, you're not gonna. You're not gonna what go. Earth? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, and Scratch says, give it a week and Hex will hate it. I don't think that's true. I mean, I, like, I, I'm like, i I'm on board with streaming games, right? I, I see streaming games as the future of gaming, right? I think this is the way it's going to go, whether we like it or not. Welcome to the town. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've, uh, that, that, you said two different things there. So uh, you said you're in favor of it. And do you think it's? Do you think it's both? You're in favour of it, and it's the future of gaming. No, no. I think the few, I think the fact is, oh. we streaming gaming is going to be the standard where we play AAA mm -hmm. titles in the future. And the reason I think that is because develop because like publishing houses want it because it gives them control of their games and it, it completely eliminates piracy. So well, I no, it's, it's going to kill like modding stuff, though, isn't it? Well, 
Yeah. Uh, well, you say that, but then look how they got round that on things like uh, Fallout 4. Mm, I, I can see modding frameworks being put in over time. It, it, it might be very much that you... In fact, to be honest, publishers might even prefer it because it gives them more control over the mods that would be on their various I mean, yeah. uh, stores. The Cessna managed to bring mods out to the consoles through having like their own area you could add mods. Stuff like that. So I, I don't. As much as yes, I, essentially, I think Matt correct in the sense of modding as we know it will change. I mean, the thing is though, if you want to mod your game, don't mod Stadia. Mm, it's the thing, isn't it? Keep your cuff stuff local. Mm. Well, Bethesda are on board with this, and I reckon you'll see Fallout Four, Fallout Seventy Six, and stuff like that. And I assume they'll have this, the the mods. Obviously not 76, because they don't allow that. But Fallout 4, I assume they'll do the same thing they've done on cons. Well, here's the interesting follow-up question, because, I mean, even since the days of Daggerfall, if not before then, uh, Bethesda games were buggy. Like, uh, you know, they've, they've never, in, at least in my lifetime, never not been buggy. Um, does this mean that future Bethesda titles, should anyone choose to play them, uh, could be, like, uh, uh, patched on the fly? Well, I mean, so, they yeah, can be yeah. patched on the fly anyway, can't they? Um, well, yeah. they tend to, not necessarily. I, I mean, they can, but they're not. I'm they? pretty sure that Bethesda games will be as buggy as they always have been on Stadia or anywhere else. Ah, good old Bethesda. Because, buggy as always. That's you know, the thing you can count on. Bethesda is shit. But, um... I think, I don't know, I, I genuinely think that, like, like this is like real. I know. I know everyone talks about online. I tried on live as well. It was not good, right? I think it's fair to say that whether we want to or not, this is the way AAA are going. I think the indie market, the indie scene, is going to stay away from this. But I think the AAA scene is going to. This is where it's going to be. Why didn't you like on live? On live was the latency was real, man. Even on a good day with on live, and lots. Of, I, they had a I, lot of downtime. Well, then I must be really unsensitive. Because I never had an issue. I tried on live. So, I it's probably you probably I had a much you probably had a much better internet connection than me. The Sorry, issue uh, I had with on live is I just wasn't interested in half the games they had. So I uh, I don't. What's on live? It was a it was a, the first version of Stadia, I suppose you could call it. Um, the first game streaming platform. Um, uh, who who done it? The it so was a, a, a private company, you know, online. Just, just, uh, uh, so it, it wasn't one of the big names. It was, no, it was, no, no. Yeah. and and it worked. And I think they went for about two years, three years, maybe. Uh, actually, when, I think it was a bit longer. Than that. When you play a game through, do you, have you ever played a game on the Unity in a browser? Yeah, um, yeah, hmm. yeah. Do you do, does that just download the game into the browser and you play it? it? Yeah, or... it downloads the core assets. It streams the assets to your machine as you're playing it. So it downloads a bit. You start playing, and then while you're playing that bit, it downloads the next bit. So it's 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 a little bit like streaming, but with a different methodology. Uh, no, I mean this is more like I mean this is more like watching a YouTube video that listens to you. This is more like an interactive YouTube video than it is something downloaded. I'd imagine there is an element of it going on in the background. Can I ask? Are you using Firefox or are no? You, you have Chrome? to use Chrome. You have to use Chrome. And can you use Chromium? Have I haven't tried, tried Chromium. We'll try that next. We'll try it in a bit if you want. I'm, I'm up for trying anything. Yeah, I am if curious. If anyone wants to test something today, um, this um, is what the stream's for. Well, amazing. Um, well, while you're at it, why not Microsoft Edge? Ugh, oh, not yet. Get out. <laughs> sorry, Just sorry. Get I'm, out. I'm being a naughty boy. Put your head down in shame and leave. Okay. And I want you to, while you're gone, I want you to write a full apology to the audience. <laughs> and not come back until you're done. <laughs> um, I suppose. I mean, it, there's because the. I wonder if it works in a WebKit browser. Probably not. We'll Probably try. We'll try problem. Chromium next. We'll try Chromium next. Well, I mean, actually, to be fair, Chris has a point in the sense that it probably would work in Edge because that is Chromium based. If it works in Chrome, I think there's some magic in Chrome that makes this work because Google have said they're not actually too, they're not actually trying to push their browser in this case. They've pretty much been, been straightforward. They just they just want to you know they're trying to push the service. They're not bothered about like you know anything else really. Mm. So I think is a technical reason why it only works in Chrome. But we'll find. Out I would I, I I would think that that is uh, is, is probably quite um, quite true. But people. 
I'm, and I, I guess we're not the right people because I think we would be quite comfortable switching browsers. But I, I would imagine a large section of Joe public probably get used to a browser and, and don't want to change. So if Google can make it work on as many browsers as possible, yeah. maybe um, that that might maximize I think the, the reality profits. is can most I, people just use Chrome anyway. Can I just mm. address um, Larsic? in chat he said i've been looking at ps now ps um because i'm desperate to play bloodborne but it's a windows app with a ps4 controller only right i have played it with an x360 controller so that's not true it was wired but um you can use other controllers uh, uh does the ps for... now work in wide you can do it wide, i'm right? pretty sure i heard something recently about they've got it working so I was about to say I would also look at that, but you know it might be a lot of jumping through hoops right. and things like that. I don't. Is this like an MMO? Do I have to save this, or is it just done? Do I have to? Is there anything no, to it do? just it, you literally you can just drop out anytime okay. you want. Great stuff. So yes, it, essentially it's a it's a looter shooter slash MMO. Yes, I think Borderlands Two with other people, random other people. Cause I'm getting a feel. I mean, I want to go shoot some more stuff before I leave this game, right? And I want to switch between the controller and the and the uh, thing. But uh, whatever happens, I'm gonna have to go for a piddle. So I'll be back in a sec. Uh, you guys, yeah, yeah I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna, gonna go and grab a drink. I'll uh, I'll keep the audience entertained. Can you hear me? Uh, wait, I'm not the, I'm not the audience. <laughs> but, uh, not fully. How, how's your day going? All right, I got a new monitor and I plugged it in and it's cool. Yes, the oh, audience yeah. can hear you. Oh, okay. Hello, audience. But also, Matt. Uh, so, is this the um, uh, this is the monitor you've been waiting for for the the past little past what? A couple of days. <laughs> a couple of days. What what kind of monitor is it? It's a thirty-two inch. I don't, brand is AOC. I don't know. I've never really heard of them, but seems good. So, ah. recommended it. Sorry, how many so, inches was that? Thirty-two. Quite big then. Is that about, a... as, about as big as I can go, really? Oh, okay. Is that is and and what resolution do you run on? Uh, Fourteen forty. Yeah. Okay, two K then, right? Is that two K? Uh, I guess you can call it two K. I don't know. I don't have a high def. I I I, I have a fourteen forty by nine hundred monitor. I don't even have full HD. I'm back. Oh well. I'm cool. a caveman. It's twenty six. 2560 by 1440. Oh, nice. Oh, my back. I've just figured out what it is, what's wrong with me today. My back, I choose a different uh, chair at work, right? And my back is fucking killing me, like, like around my kidneys. Like, I've had no support there all day. So, uh, I'll put a pillow, maybe that'll cheer me up. I stood up and I was like, oh, yeah, that's what's wrong with me. It's not a stomach ache, it's like a weird backache. Anyway, wow. I just thought I'd share that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, we were just talking about. Uh... We we're just talking about Matt's new monitor. Oh, nice. There's not a huge amount to say about it. Otherwise, it's kind of nice. Well, I don't, I don't know much about monitors. I got a... Uh, mine's... mine's uh, oh, it must be about 15 years old now. I'm just, I'm just taking all the quests. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is like this is one of them games where the UI is like not obvious. So I'm just going to run around. So what, uh, what, what game Sorry. is this? Destiny 2. Which is... um, it looks cool. Like I like it. it looks pretty. Uh, come a um, reach power level seventy. Okay. This looks like that Anthem the, um, game. But it looks uh, like... A system monitor stats or anything like that. You know, is is this? Um, is, is your computer not? You know, like is this a very easy easy thing to run? Because okay, obviously, uh, you know, you can literally it. if you can run if you can run a YouTube video at ten eighty. Right. If you can play YouTube at 1080 60, you will be able to use Stadia. There's, that, that's the simple truth. It's no heavier. Like my, in fact, let's uh, let's have a little test, shall we? Let's find out what my my statistics mm. are right now. Let's turn on my middle monitor capture. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So, um, right now, I don't know why I've got a, I've got that logo there. Okay. Uh, well, well, okay. Uh, so right now, my resource usage is come on, kick in. Yeah, my usage, my usage, resource usage, that's streaming. Like the game, like my my, my CPU is not even at forty percent. 
like across the board. We can't it's, see a CPU. It's in the way of the. Oh um, my gosh! Sorry, guys. Keyboard mine. There you go. It's uh, it's not even forty percent. I mean, that's that's the pressure that streaming puts on your system right there. That is. That's not. That's not related to the game. The game. That's just very little happening. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, so that's probably your streaming. Yeah. yeah. So, so more efforts going into streaming the play in the game, basically. Yep. 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 Hello. Oh, hello. Mm. I'll leave that open, um, and we'll come back to that in a bit, if you, maybe. Uh, I um. Oh, I hope they put the Hitman games onto it. I mean, the thing is, if they do put like my my AAA choices on there, I might I could get rid of Steam. Yeah, I mean, you lose like control. Without I mean, Steam. Let's not let's not gloss over it. You 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 lose control to a certain extent, right? Like you, you know, well, you're the yeah, luxury but, of them. Oh yeah, I mean, but same. Well, with the Hitman games, you are anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel the that's Hit a big problem myself, but yeah, people do hate that, so I need to mention it. Yeah, I mean, with, with the Hitman, if the server's good, like it, it, basically when um, IO Interactive uh, do their maintenance, you can't even play the game properly, yeah. and there's like an hour a month or something like that. Where you just can't play Hitman 2 anyway, which is daft and silly, but um, because they because they're it, it, I guess they do it for DRM purposes, it seems, but they the the game is like has so many online elements that don't really need to be online elements, like the unlocks, like all your unlocks and your achievements and your your game progress is is tracked to your online profile. Yeah. Um, it doesn't, or it, it doesn't need to be. Nor does it need to to be always online. But I, I guess, I guess it's DRM, right? You know. Well, yeah, and that's the thing with Stadia. It's like the most beautiful DRM because there's no way around it. It's from as far as they're concerned, Paris is gone now. If Stadia kicks off, how does anyone know how the fuck I just get back down to shooting stuff? I don't want to play plot right now. I just want to shoot some stuff. Uh, you need to, to go take a mission, I would assume. Uh, but normally, if you press the bring up your menu, right? This uh. is trying to remember back. Okay, okay, quests. There we go. Three you quests. can just take a quest, and then it will take you straight into it. I want to do that? Do that? Do that? Do that? Open my map and go to a planet. It says. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will show you where you're going. Ah, because you've got to go through the base quest. I suppose at the minute it's like you've got to do its bit. Destinations? Okay, let's, let's travel through the courtyard. It wants me to do that, right? Game that was ever able to be played on Linux. What? Through pro it was it was this game no, ever able to be played this through is what, Proton? Uh, yes, yes, it no. was. Well, but not without getting banned. Getting banned for it. Yeah, no, uh, not without getting banned. Moon? Yeah. So what how are you playing mean? this right now? Are you playing it through the Chrome browser? Chrome browser, yeah. So like put your login details in um, and and on you go, right? Yep. Uh, I'll show you the interface. In and you're playing mouse and keyboard? In fact. I am curious. Yeah, yeah, it's all on the screen. I am curious about the fact, like, for instance, I assume you're playing on 1080p at the moment. Yes. Um, does it do that scaling automatically? Does it pick up yes. the settings? Yes. Does it? Basically, it full screens your web browser and what you get is what you're given. Can you play it in a web browser? No, it is in the web browser. If you're... Yeah. Oh, you mean play yeah, it without full screen? Say... No. Yeah. No. It, like, just, say... it makes a 1080p canvas and just like locks it. Like even like even in DWM, I can't like I can't float this. This is locked as fuck. I can't do anything with it. Okay. Well, let's yeah, try, but let's, is uh, it is it streaming and... you 4K or is no. it going? No, I don't know. I mean, like. I know this game actually currently doesn't go up to 4K. It goes up to 1440 at the moment, right? That's the thing this game does. Um, but again, that's the, that's because of part of the rollout period. Um, but yeah, it's honestly don't know. I mean, it looks like 1080 to me. Mm. Well, if it looks like 1080, that's good so, enough. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> scratch says this game is running on Linux to be streamed to Linux, so it can be played on Linux. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm with Gussie. <laughs> I think 1440 is fine. Oh yeah, I agree. I'm just curious as to know, like, if they're if they're shoving 4K out to you, that naturally, I would assume. Will um, I just, I, I mean, I season. don't know this, but I would guess they render it in whatever they render it at, and then just like YouTube, you get a scaled version, you know, 
I, I mm. assume it's just like it's that same technology. Well, also, that's a good point. I think so, YouTube no. tends to pick up exactly what your settings are without you actually having. So mayhaps that if a lot of people were playing uh, a game, w would it possibly be the case that uh, you would you in order to satisfy everyone's gaming desires? That they would have to lower the resolution for a short period of time until well, the uh, server wow. load was lesser. Google is saying that that's literally. Google is saying they've got so many servers that that's just absolutely that's never going to happen. They're saying that like if it gets to the point where they sell that many copies of the game, they will simply add more servers. They're saying that the, the, you'll never have a queue to play a game. You'll never have to wait for a CPU. They're saying that it's fine. Whether that's true or not, this is the first. This is like you know day one for me. I don't. I can't say honestly. Now, it seems, because, like, the thing is, with day one launches, they very, very often are a disaster. Yeah. And the fact that you seem to be playing a game moseying along pretty yeah. well yeah. is a pretty good indicator, isn't it, would you say? Yep. Um, Akuras has said, fuck DRM, which is, which is fair. You know, I don't think anybody particularly likes DRM, but the simple fact of the matter is there is no way to play Destiny 2 without DRM. Um, if you... You know, you can say, oh, Stadia's, you know, inbuilt DRM, and you're right. So Steam in a lot of ways. Does, does, it, does it matter whose DRM you're dealing with? Yeah. You know, it's, it kind of comes down to that thing of, like, you're dealing with it one way or another. Does it matter who who's offering it you? Uh, if you want to play the game, you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. And as I said, I'm not, like, while I think streaming is the future of gaming, I'm not sure Stadia is the future of gaming. I've thought of it like buying a PlayStation. You know, it's like it's like buying a console. Um, I'm not mm. I'm not sure I see a lot of difference myself, but... I mean, is this PC gaming? I'm using the keyboard and mouse, so maybe. I don't even know. I don't think it matters. I mean, I think... And I think that's a good thing. I mean, uh, of all the criticisms you can say of Stadia, I don't think that's one of them. Um, I, I like the fact that it, it kind of levels the play. I mean, I'd really love to see them, I don't know, like, maybe sort of get this working in browsers on games consoles. I'd I could see hilarious. this working on Chrome. I, I think whatever they're doing to make this work in Chrome and nothing on the browser, right? I could see this, I could see a time, I could see them hacking this into Firefox with, a, with a, an extension or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll happen. I mean, I don't think we'll be stuck on Chromium for long. I don't, again, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just running around shooting stuff at the minute. I'll actually learn how to go properly later. Woo! I mean, for me, like, Chromium or Chrome will Let's never be Chrome, my mate. browser of no, choice. I like Firefox. And thing, I kind of like that. I like the fact that I can keep all my, my crap stuff in one place. You know? <laughs> that makes sense to me. I mean, yeah, I'm not. I mean, it is higher latency than really natively for sure, but it's not in like it's probably it's probably about the same latency as if you were to play a keyboard and if you were to plug a keyboard and mouse into a PlayStation. It's probably that level of. I'd, you know. I'd also point out this being an online-only game, and the fact that what you get on the disc on the consoles isn't half the stuff you're actually playing and while there are downloads and there are things i think you're always going to get an element of latency even on consoles because or, or even the pc version because you know this is an online only game and a lot of it yeah it's like an mmoe there's a lot of streaming content yeah to it. i don't know yeah. i don't i have got no frame of reference i've not played this outside of stadia so i can't say i'm not entirely sure what i'm doing also, like, there are a lot of games where, I mean, when it comes to, I, I don't know the latency firsthand, obviously, but to me, like, the, the battle to get the most, the lowest latency is really mostly, if not l overwhelmingly applicable to first-person shooters. Yeah, which is because why I'm playing this if one you were playing, if you were playing, and I'm going to go back to it again, Hitman 2, which... Yeah. While there are shooty shooty bits in Hitman 2, the the crux of the game is working out how to kill someone and get away with it, and it's you could you could really equate it more to a puzzle game. The latency you could deal with um, as long as as long as it's it's not jarring. 
Yeah, um, I think you would you'd generally be fine. Well, I, I'm sitting here watching Hex play first person shooter, and, and he seems to be doing okay on it. Uh, well, as okay as I ever do. Is. Well, yeah, but well, you're still better I, I than don't, me. I don't think it can be that great a late. I really yeah. don't. Because and the really thing is, as well, right now is what I'm doing. What everyone is playing Stadia is doing is I'm hunting for latency and glitches. Like my eyes are hunting it down. Right, I'm look, like I'm trying mm. to feel for it. When I'm just in a couple of weeks time and I'm just playing the game. I'm, I'm sure I won't give a shit, you know. I'm, I'm going to get now. used to it, yeah. yeah. And, and I, um... I think the whole idea of, of um, Stadia on Linux is an interesting one in the sense that it's an I, I think, well, I think it is, but I also think as Linux users, we have this tendency um, to think that everybody on Linux thinks like us, yeah. mm. and I don't necessarily think that's true because I mean I've made the point many times before, and while things like DRM and that have become more of an issue for me over time. When I came to Linux, mm. I came to Linux because I, like, I didn't come because I, I really cared about open source software. I came because I enjoyed the interface. And yeah, I came just because I was curious to what it had to offer. And I think the, I mean, there's the old sort of thing that the old adage that we've said many a times where, you know, we maybe shouldn't be persuading people to come to I agree with that, yeah. Well, I mean, one of the things that, I mean, regardless of how you feel about Stadia, regardless of your thoughts on 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 the game, the reality is that if Stadia becomes the standard way of playing games, right, the reality is people can play games regardless of what operating system they're on. Even, we, we evened it out. There's no longer yeah. a, there's no longer a difference between Windows like from Stadia's point of view, Stadia is Stadia. It doesn't matter if you're on a fucking Android phone or you're on you know or, you, or you're on or you're on a high end gaming PC. Like you're gonna get the same experience. Like you know I can literally play this on my phone. Like there's there's no difference. And I mean to be you honest, can get an Android tablet now for what like one one fifty. Oh yeah. god, you could. I mean, assuming that you know. I don't know what's weapon. Um, you could buy yourself a 50 quid um, Amazon tablet yeah. and I put the Play Store would. on it with Chrome and essentially run this. That's that's a huge... Uh, and for parents as well, that, you know, spend probably hundreds on games content to... Yeah, I mean, like, to... think of it... I mean, the, the sale, the pitch is simple. The pitch is, if you... Uh, if you if you know if your kid wants a PlayStation Five, buy them Stadia instead, and then you haven't got to buy the PlayStation Six when it comes out. That's a very good point. That is a very good point. You know, it's a console that's going to never need upgrades. Um, mm. Assume, and it, also in that principle, it's never going to need the backwards compatibility. I mean, you know, this is something that like, I think we often forget about and you've got to look at it as a console and and the minute i think you do start looking at it as yeah. a console you realize that actually it doesn't matter if it's got drm because all of them have yeah um i mean it matters like if there was an open console we should be supporting that Hello? yes but there isn't one and then there probably never will be one no nah, the game is too oh, yeah. well, no, not no, not not one that you would have comparable to an xbox or playstation no. And also, guys, yeah. Stadia's getting better. Like right now, this game is, is running at maximum. He's running basically on high settings, not ultra. That's the, that's part of the rollout, right? In a couple of weeks, this game yeah. is going to look better. And then, and then Stadia uh, itself will get harder upgrades over time. So, like over time, you'll always have the most current graphics available. And none of these games was built specifically for Stadia because when that does happen, you're going to see some crazy shit happening because there's no limit to how much shit you can have going on in Stadia. Like and the AI for for mobs can be like the AI for enemies can be way higher than anything you've seen on on, on previous platforms. Mm. Like the theory, yeah, because where they deliver is differently, but the theory is interesting. You could you could have systems that render on batch. So, yeah. for example, with mobs, if you have to calculate AI, a particularly complex uh, system of AI, you could do, you could do it for one player, but you could then perhaps multiply the effort somehow to uh, a user base of millions. We, obviously, there would be some degree of scaling of, of resources, but like it would be more efficient than doing it several million times separately, like we've had to before. Yeah. And also, also, this this removes. Mm. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, I've just trampled over you. Sorry, my fault. No, go ahead, Cyrus. Uh... I was just going to put say, like for instance, um, the Xbox One has been looking into like cloud resources for its gaming. Like, yeah. 
Is it Crackdown, the new Crackdown game that had like, you know, you had to be connected to the internet if you wanted to build instant crumble and things like that. Yeah, so keep cloud computation. Aside and then, you know, sending it out to you. Um, with things going that way, you know, this completely removes that. I mean, the things they can do on Stadia is far beyond what they'll ever be able to do on your PC while your PC is doing the computing without shoving some of that server side. Although one of the things that I, I mean, I, I expect there will be, if not um, Stadia-based games, ma games made for Stadia, uh, or possibly, you know, if you widen it out, games made for cloud play, because presumably Stadia is not the first. There'll be a Steam, there'll be a Microsoft version, there'll be, you know, there'll be a few. I, I expect maybe even a Ubisoft something, and um, you might have games that then. Uh, so, so you might have a game that's released for Stadia. You might have it released for for Ubisoft's streaming service, Microsoft yeah. streaming service, etc. But I do th think that, um, and we may have already, I think we've already gone past the point in their return with, with the levels of DRM and online play. That the archiving games has 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 the game on archiving games has changed in so far that in some ways it's better, like Cybris alluded to that because you're not buying a new console every generation it's it's like a rolling console yeah there'll be you'll be you should hopefully be able to play like the games that you're playing today maybe in 20 or even 30 years time that'd be amazing um but um whereas you you couldn't even, you know whereas if you wanted to play a playstation one game you'd have to crack open playstation one or, or use an emulator or something um but um on the other hand <clears throat> um we are um, the the idea of, of game ownership is could could have died today. Maybe. Uh, Akuras, I need to agree. I keep. I feel like I feel. I feel like I say this a lot, and I'm sorry if people have heard it multiple times. But the reality here is, when it comes to game ownership, is you don't owe shit on Steam anyway. Like you are buying a lease on Steam anyway. You buying a lifetime lease, and that's exactly the deal with Stadia. And honestly, I don't care. I mean, I'm like, if I play this game now, and I enjoy it. Like, there's very few games you want to play five years later. There's very few. There's very few you want to play two years there later. There are now, now, Hex. I think it is fair to say that there are there are different schools, different um, schools of thought on that one. And and I think you're very much the I like playing a different game every week type of yeah. Of person. No, that's fair. Um, with with talk, exceptions. But I can only speak from my own my own point of view and, and from I, my I point of view. Of course, that, that element though that um, like for instance, um, fucking online, tanks we spoke about earlier. I'm driving a fucking things. tank. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> when um, I watched like some of the the commentary, I would say when this was coming out, somebody said like about on live how they'd been you know a subscriber to on live, and they'd played all these games when they came out and they went through a list of them and they were like, I, I don't regret it one bit because of the simple fact when the time came that on live went away and I lost my game. I literally went to my local charity shop and bought them all for a fine. Yeah, or wait for a Steam sale. Yeah, you know, and and while I know that, you know, if everything goes this way, that won't maybe be the issue. Should, if everything should, goes this way, I mean... <sighs> how I, don't, I mean, I'm, can, I'm not, I'm know, not honestly, I'm the, not concerned. You know, I don't... Steam now. I don't. I don't think. Huge I mean, I don't think Stadia's going there for at least five years. Even if Google want to dump it, I think they'll commit to five years because the publisher deals and stuff. Um, but uh, shit. And the other thing I'd, I'd say as well that's worth noting is is the fact like GOG DRM free gaming. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's kind of a beacon for those that hate DRM for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, the truth is, do you back up every game that you own on on a cop? Well, no, but the 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 I think it's a fair expectation that even if GOG were to go into huge financial troubles, that they wouldn't pull the plug in a in, well, in a twenty four hour period. If they went into huge financial troubles, then it could happen like that, and it has happened like that. Yeah, that's how Desura went. To be fair, I mean, when companies, you know, those things, when they hit, they hit, and while I agree the likelihood of that happening is minimal, you're still taking a risk. It's a risk. 
Uh, but so is it eating a bottle of cornflakes? It's exactly. Yes, I, I'm not denying that in any way, shape, or form. In fact, that that's that's you know a very fair point. But no, I, I, think, don't I, think, think I think without owning a physical copy of the game. No, even then. Having... Even then, like the real. Okay, for instance, if I was to buy, like in the case of Destiny Two, which is a good example because I'm playing right now, right? If I was to buy this on Steam instead of Stadia, right? I can't back it up and play it offline. I can't, I can't have a static version because I have to have the current patch. There's no difference. The only difference is I have to have a pretty good internet connection to keep it running. Whereas if I buy it locally, if I buy it locally, I can probably get away with a dodgy internet connection. And, you know, there's that other thing as well. That, like, I think owning a physical copy is the only way you get around the whole thing of, like, pres preservation. Pirate Bay's, well, yeah, Pirate but Bay's preservation. There's, we don't that argument. Pirate, Pirate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even physical media... Um, such as CDs, they don't last forever. They degrade, don't they? And it was something I was actually, funnily enough, thinking about earlier. Yeah, is um, and it was a, it was to do with film. Um, I was thinking about the fact the amount of video I've bought in the past that I've just kind of tossed out or whatever. I really I own the license, of those, but I can't <coughs> prove it can I? because I've thrown the. And actually, without that physical copy, you know, like they say that you can back up games in or. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Media. Um, so no, I don't think in the UK. It, I think in the UK you don't have the right no, to back No, 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 you're perfectly entitled to back up a copy of something you own. Yeah. Um, but you've got to prove it as well. And I think, you know, I think it comes down to this thing of like, really, you know, um, if I buy something and they take it away from me, I'll pirate it because you know what? I mean, I'm in no worse situation. If I've bought a game, if I if this is a game I really like and I have the opportunity to, I'll buy it on Steam and I'll buy it on well. GOG and in rare cases on itch as well. Obviously, depending on the availability, right? Now, part of that is because I want to support. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, a lot of this is less to do with practical, more to do with principle. It's like a lot of people, and, and I, I would put myself in, in this category, I, I'm, I would happily put money towards DRM-free stuff, even if um, I can I can survive the, the worst things happening to GOG, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. No, no, um, absolutely. I mean, and like there have been times when developers have put games on Pirate Bay themselves, like, mm -hmm. like, like uh, Darkwood is one, and I'll go and buy it, even though I don't even want to play it, because I want to support their decision to do that, right? Because ultimately, mm -hmm. I think if all games was legally downloadable on Pirate Bay, I'd probably still buy them on Steam because the distribution method is part of the problem. I think that's mm -hmm. the reality of it, though. I think if you're going to pirate a game and you don't want to spend your money on it, you're going to pirate a game and not spend your money on it. I think mm -hmm. if, you, what, if you're willing to spend your money on a game, you'll spend your money on a game. I think the issue arises with um, things like, uh, like Nintendo... 64 games or, or things like that things you can't get anymore things also, you can't buy what's your there's option? also um the question of of um pricing strategies as well um so let, let's take for example a uh, a rather well-known star wars property which is uh the talk of the town at, at the moment um it's uh, being released under a very restrictive way what were we talking um, about, sorry? The Mandalorian. Right, okay. Just to clear up everything, I, oh, I, yeah, I was yeah, being yeah, aloof. Yeah. But... Right, okay, sorry. Yeah. I thought you meant gaming-wise, because I knew they'd had a game come out. Yeah. And... Sorry. Um, now, there's a few things at play here, but... Uh, and I'm just using the Mandalorian, Mandalorian as a random example, right? I mean, you could use Game of Thrones as well, right? Uh, it, in fact, I will use Game of Thrones. HBO, right, um, is a subscription service. Um, you pay every month and you get to watch what they've got in their library but i'm not interested in the overwhelming majority of hbo shows i'm interested in in one maybe two um oh. and i would thoroughly enjoy being able to just buy those two things but of course due to the sales models and the way that they want to do things it doesn't work like that it does in steam though for example but um I can certainly understand people like is a is you know is it a lot of people might not necessarily see it as being worthwhile to pay a subscription service to a Netflix and HBO or Disney Plus so if 
if they only want one thing out of it. Like it's. Uh, I assume models can piss people off. That's basically. I mean, my point. yeah. I mean, like, like the idea yeah. at the moment is you buy, you play a game, you buy, you buy a game, you play a game. That's it. And then if you subscription, you get access to certain things. Um, I mean, the subscription is nine pound a month, and at the moment, there's no bundles with Google Play Music and stuff. But it, like, if they move it up to fifteen and give me YouTube YouTube Premium, that's me for a lifetime sub. Then, to be honest. Yeah, uh, oh, and I, I would be tempted to as well. I, I'm definitely going to be on board with Stadia. I mean, you know, for me, it's changed the way I think about my computer in a good way. Um, because, what, as I was saying the other night, I think, to you, um, the only reason I, I ha the only need I have for okay, that is scored. purely gaming. Now, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can tie in video editing to a degree with I mine, but video I. Edit, but yeah. Uh, but then again, uh, with my NVIDIA, like if I was a AAA gamer, I would want more than the NVIDIA 970 I've got. If I was editing video the way that I do, I would be perfectly happy with a 970. I've got so a 970, a and I'm fine I, with I it. have to say, and, and, and I'm sorry, Chris, no. I, I really apologize for this, yeah. but I, I love the fact that you say NVIDIA. Oh, okay. What, what, what should I be saying? NVIDIA. Do we know that for certain? Is, like, is there an official they, they are called NVIDIA. NVIDIA are, are the company that makes skincare creams. But I love Nvidia. it all the same. Oh, okay. Stop. I, I, I want you to carry on. Do you, think, do you think this is going to drive the, the price of graphics cards down? No, I think it's going to drive them up because there's less demand for them. That's... Uh, yeah, that could go that. I think in the, in the short term, it will probably knock them down. And I, would, I say short term, I think the next five years, I don't think you're going to see a massive hit to begin with, because I don't think people are going to jump on it like it's no tomorrow. I don't I, think I, I big enough library to be... I'm going to keep an eye on that, just in case. Yeah, it might, it might be slow, but I also suspect oh, that sure. rather than affecting the price, because the price is, is largely uh, dictated not, not by production costs, but by market forces and what people are willing to pay. Um, so I would imagine that the Whereas the price may remain the, the same or similar because that's what people are used to, to paying for uh, graphics cards, we might just see a slowdown in their technological advancements. We might just see to very... To be fair, we've kind of already seen that, though. Then that's not mm. to do with this. Yeah. That's to do with the fact they have kind of hit a point where we're a little stuck technology-wise when it comes to... You know, graphics are as good as they need to be. Well, actually, I, I think they probably are. But no, yeah. aside from that, and also Minecraft, Minecraft is the like the, the hottest game right now, and Fortnite isn't exactly like that's not exactly massively demanding, is it? Runs on a phone, runs on a switch. There you go. And and you know, I I think that's a good thing. Um, yeah, no, yeah, fully agree, yeah. But, I mean, I like the fact people are keeping hold of their hardware and, like, burning it out, basically. And when I say burning it out, that sounds like a horrible thing to us PC gamers. I think we love our machines and stuff. But, you know, uh, how many times um, have you upgraded your graphics card and just, I don't know, tossed the graphics card? Or not tossed it, but you probably sold it to somebody who sold it on. And that technology, you know, when you actually think about... I mean, Drew was saying the other night about the moral aspect of you know, the tech we use, and there is a moral aspect. Um, mm -hmm. It seems a bit sad that eventually these cards get tossed when they're perfectly fine and working, and I kind of like the idea that maybe we've hit a point where things can slow down. I don't want them to stop, but I'd like them to slow down and, well, they already have, just mm. through the way hey, things man, are. And I'm they? still planning on mm. buying, I'm still quite seriously planning on buying a laptop in the new year. That has Intel graphics well, because I'm I don't need anything else. Laptops, you know? you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm downgrading on purpose because I don't need the graphics I've got. And Stadius was the one, like, streaming game is the one last thing I was missing. And I mean, I, mean, I, I I've got to, you know, like, I'm, I'm not a world away, to be honest. Um, I'm not necessarily switching out, but, like, uh, basically drawing a line under my current hardware for a long time. Uh, I think this. it's worth saying, though, that, you know, the current gen of, like, inbuilt graphics is pretty damn good. Yeah. Might, I mean, by the time Hex gets round to it, it could very well be the case that 
the inbuilt NVIDIA graphics are on a par with the 970. I don't. So. I think we're quite a way off that year because I'm, I'm literally buying the next model probably. Oh. Uh, but I think we're, we're. But like honestly, okay. I mean, like I played Torch like two days this week. The great time, right? I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, I'm not. I don't need it. You prefer the so? I mean, do I you like prefer it. the physical space or? Uh, well, the I mean, I want the portability. Simplicity. I spend because my dad's disabilities. I spend a lot of time back inside hospitals, uh, and I really like to be able to take uh. my main rig with me. Um, so for me, it's that's it. But if I can't cope with it, I'll buy the GPU and I'll be fine. If I uh, m may ask, uh, what kind of price were you looking at for your for this machine? Do you have a price in mind? Yeah, about one thousand four hundred and ninety pound. So, so a serious machine then. Yeah. I'm running. I'm running on a ninety quid and, and a hundred and fifty quid machine, and they work fine. Because my thought was, like, if you're if you are going portable, I mean, would you not want a secondary machine just in case you dropped it? Well, yeah, but this machine I've got here doesn't stop existing because I buy a laptop. Hmm. You know, so this Good. machine's still here. Yep. I thought when when you said downgrading, I thought um, you meant like no, putting I'll, that I'll to the back you, of the no, room. No. And you can get insurance, can't you? I mean, yeah, I mean, I will be having it. insurance, and yeah, this machine does. I'm not. This, nothing's happening to this machine I'm running now, but uh, I'm looking at Dell XPS. Uh, next, I'm, yeah, I'm looking at Dell XPS. I'm pro, I'm not. I'm debating whether to get the 4K screen or not, but yeah, I'm looking at spending about 1,500 on one. But I'm not. It's not going to be to oh. the middle of next year because I'm waiting for the new models to come out. I mean, I honestly think I'm one of the few people that's mad enough that need a ThinkPad in every room. You know. I mean, you know. <laughs> That's clearly just me, the way I'm wired. But, um, you know, most people, yeah, just get insurance or even your house insurance a lot of the time. Covers, you know, it's one of those things. But, um, uh... but yeah, I, I like one for under the coffee table, one for at my desk, one for, you know, in the bedroom. You know, it's just the way I'm built. Really? Yeah, I, 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 it, I'd love to... It, it's kind of an excuse to buy more ThinkPads, I'll be honest. That's strange. Cyrus has become a ThinkPad collector. Most of them do eventually. I, mean, I'll, I, I I've never used a ThinkPad. Um, don't don't do it to yourself. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, they, I I I do find an appeal. Um, the trouble is with them is that they're such great machines and they're so cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like buying them secondhand off eBay. And it, it seems almost pointless. Like I, I said to Hex one day, I could pretty much afford to buy a ThinkPad every month and it wouldn't really affect my budget. Um, and so I've tried to live up to that. Um, and that's the thing about them, you know, like literally my, my X240, which is a lovely machine. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's, I wouldn't use it for like streaming or something like that. But as a day-to-day under the coffee table oh i just need to check my bank account or i need to i want to watch some youtube or i want to watch hex's stream or something like that it cost me nine pounds and that was just posted and it's running an i5 and it came with an ssd and it's got eight gig of ram i mean you know it's great i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but uh, i'm having a great time you're dying hex. i know but i'm having a great time and I'm not dying because of latency, I'm dying because I'm trash, to be clear. So, you... alright, I think we've done the Stadia chat as in, like, the merits of it and that. Mm -hmm. How are you finding the game? Because uh, that's as important aspect like, of it. As... as I said, yeah. I should have, the first time I played Destiny 2, I should have actually, like, read the lore and gone through the plot and stuff. But instead of that, for this video, I've just jumped in. And I'm having a hell of a good time. The gunplay is really solid. It feels it's really chunky. Everything feels super chunky. Like, I feel like, like, like the fact that, like, I have to really control the you know, control the aim and like like worry about recall. It's, it's it's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time with it. I am. Uh, yeah, once I'm, I'm, once I'm through this, once I'm through this section, I am going to swap games and do some controller stuff and just test some other stuff for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm, I thought a first person shooter would be the best place to start, and I feel like yeah, I'm probably I probably right. Right, and I think it's a very brave move on their part. Well, I think that's the why they did it. The, yeah, the premier title. But yeah, I do think Bungie make a damn good shooter. Oh, can't go through there. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, fellas. You're a scary bunch of this people. Behind you. <laughs> oh, I'm dying a lot, but, you know, I'm having a great time. Oh, sorry, I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I died. Fucking input latency. Pfft. Yeah, I think one of the reasons I've kept this camera here on 
of this whole time is not for vanity. It's just so people who are watching the video can meticulously go through the latency if they want. I um. I think I've seen enough to say that I'm going to be happy playing it. You know, it's not going to cause me a problem. And that's good. That's fine. I may order it tomorrow. La 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 la. It's looking promising. So, so Mr. Hex, um, so far, uh, would you, uh, like, you've made a lot of predictions and, and, yep. and outlined a lot of expectations. Yep. How it sounds to me that those expectations have largely been fulfilled. Yeah, I think what so. What would happen has yeah. happened. I think. I, I mean, as for anyone who didn't doesn't know my thoughts on it, I expect. I've expected the that for a long time. I've expected that streaming would become the default fact, de facto way to buy AAA games. Um, don't don't confuse that with I want that. I'm just saying I expect it to become. Uh, that said, um, I'm playing a game that's very 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 high end. Realistically, my machine would probably not run this smoothly locally. Like realistically, like if I run this locally, oh. I'd probably be on lower graphic settings. Um, and yeah, and the fact that I didn't have to download, I literally just hit play, there was nothing to it. I've got um, a question for chat, and I'm going to shoot for a second after I ask it, so I'll come back and read the chat when I get back. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm curious as to, if Steam tomorrow announced that they were doing game streaming, would you, because some people have said in chat, they've clearly got, they're uncomfortable with the idea of Google. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Yeah. As, yeah, as, that's um, fair. Yeah, that's fine. I get that. I get that one hundred percent. I'm curious if Steam announced that you know you could stream your game tomorrow, and said like you know we basically we've done Stadia, but for the games in your life, would you be, be okay glorious? With that? And that's literally my question. And I, I will come back because I'm just going to go and check on my little boy, so it gives everybody time to do their tell me whatever they think. I'm just curious as to see what they say. Mm, I, I I would like that, but that's I mean that but that is of course not quite horses for courses because the uh, Google mm. Stadia has a pretty short no I'm not trying to, to say it does. is please don't misunderstand me this this yeah. isn't a trick question it's not something with a gotcha I'm just curious but uh, anyway oh my god they shoot me they shoot oh my god they shot me in a menu I was in a menu you fucks why didn't you fucking know Some you fucking fucks okay so now I'm shooting stuff I guess. Okay, shoot the big glowy guy, got it. Although, I suppose, I can't remember who said it now, it might be Cybris, might be New Hex, that, um, that it's it's good that Google uh, uh, have a, yeah. a revenue stream that isn't advertising based. Yeah, that you buy a product, you play a product. I mean, that's what we've always wanted off Google, right? That's been the problem mm -hmm. with them. And in the case of Stadia, they're not advertising to me. They're, they're, they're no different to what Steam do or EGS are doing. They are, they are literally providing a service. And that, that, that's, that's good guy, Google. And the reason they're doing that is, is let's be honest, because uh, because stream because sales, uh, marketing is not where it used to be, and they can't survive forever on ad revenue. Their big data will take them a long way, but they can't survive forever on ad revenue. Yeah, and also like next time there's a recession, uh, people's spending will go right down, yeah. and that will come through in advertising. It's uh, mixed. It's diversifying their portfolio. I think is the lardy da way of saying it. Yeah, <laughs> they're 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 they're. Uh, they're adding to their revenue streams. Mm, they're, uh, yes. It's, um, and, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know if I can really afford it right now, but I'm tempted. Um, I'll be honest, yeah. Matt. I mean, if you look at, if you look at what's like, my machine is not, not, I mean, it's, it's a, not, it's a, oh, it's an old i7 with an i70. I'm running a game that's, you know, relatively high end with no stress on my CPU whatsoever. I mean, there's a lot, Could, that's cool. My, my computer's a sack of shit. So. <laughs> okay, don't get too close to that guy. What I found out. Okay, well, don't. Stand if it runs on that. Chromium, I'll um, test it in a bit. We'll test uh, it before I stop streaming. Yeah, I, I will. I will be very, very. I will. I will go from quite interested to exceptionally interested because because then you got an open source. Um, you know, it's, it, it, the, the the open source. Um, the amount of open source has increased. <laughs> put it in the very yeah. basic uh, term. The openness is greater. Mm. I, I mean, this is proprietary gaming. We're not expecting the world. But, um, 
but but the thing is with chromium is that it does it has provided a the, the fact that it, the, the the chromium is open source has allowed it to be put on all kinds of linux distributions that it wouldn't otherwise be able to be on which i think is neat yeah looking at this guy's health bar i feel like i'm not supposed to be alone for this like i feel like there's supposed to be other dudes here could this guy's health or i'm way underpowered um Oh, by the way, Hex, how are you feeling? I think you had a bit of a cold. I, uh, I, my back's killing me, and uh, I have not a headache, but I've got like a pre-headache thing going on. And yeah, I, I uh -oh. feel like I'm a bit, because my back's hurting me, like I've also got a bit stomach achy as well. So yeah, I'm not feeling great, to be honest, but uh, I'm oh. powering through. Because I'm powering through, I think it's important to power through. <laughs> powering through, ladies and gentlemen, patreon.com slash That's what he does to report the current news. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm getting XP for this. I hope this is an XP game. I never thought to check. Am I just fighting this for no reason? Or, uh, this game's great with XP, right? There's going to be levels and shit. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm getting... This is like... I'm not sure where I can go here with this. I want to take the high ground. Oh my god, that email notification is really getting on my tits. I'll go around that way. Okay, we're going this way. Drew wrote a new email notifier script. I've been using it, but it's obsessed with email. It's like, you haven't looked at your email in four seconds. Let's, let's give you a notification. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Chat didn't answer walking. you. Did they not? No, they hate you. No, actually, one or two. Uh, right, okay. Uh, oh, what I'd love for Linus a fucking... Paul M says he'd be on board. Uh, Larsuk says, uh, I'd rather Steam personally. I'd consider it. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm wondering what the conversation, you know, about Stadia really is. Whether it's about the fact that your games are locked, or whether it's the fact of latency and things like that. You know, because there are two that Stadia's kind of brought up two things, and they seem to be getting mixed into one. That it's bad because of this and because of this, and those two seem to get kind of combined okay, I'll, uh, and i think it's okay it. to sort of you know have those issues um i'm just curious as to what's the more egregious thing as it were and it's it, judging from that uh oh my gosh i'm just getting absolutely found it, but, um after beta testing google project i upgraded to so I'm assuming that, yeah, the idea of online, the idea of playing your games online is okay as long as you can back them up, I think is what most people would feel more comfortable with. Am I right? I'm guessing so. I, don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, I have my gripes with Google. Uh, so, so Steam is, uh, but I do, I do, I do like Steam. But the thing is, uh, you know, I, the corporate world when it comes to the differences between the corporate giants I mean is, is there really that much steam I think maybe is a slight step away because of how um, how they've gone out of their way to help the Linux community but yeah I mean I think steam are that weird case where as much as they're doing things that maybe go against the grain for Linux users they do so much for us it's very hard to dislike mm. uh, and they have been good open source citizens for the most part yeah, I mean, with Proton and things like that, you know. I've contributed a fair amount to open source. And the thing is, as well, is a lot of people say, you know, we'll, we'll counter that with, yeah, but they're only doing it for their own interest. But ultimately, well, we wouldn't expect it. Does yeah. It, isn't it? You know? But but then again, we wouldn't expect anything else. Why, why you know, it's, it's ludicrous to think that a, a, a company would be genuinely benevolent. But am, am I am I right? Like you mm, know? Mm, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just I'm just curious, you know, as to what the 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 real crux of the conversation is about. Is it? About... I think it's. I think forget Google. Google's a factor. The conversation is actually about ownership. That's the bit that people care about. Forget if it worked. Put like even if there was zero latency or negative latency, whatever you want to call it. If if there was absolutely no issue, people are obsessed with downloading stuff. My argument is, it doesn't matter if it's on your hard drive, if it's behind 10,000 DRM walls on an online server. So like, I, don't well, I, see think, I don't see a difference, and that's, you know, controversial. I think, you know, what it comes... It really comes down to... Personal is, politics. Is, yeah, and, and that's okay, because, you know, that's okay for them to be different. Um, 
if it is about you know the 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 way it runs and things like that, then that's that's a conversation for everybody who participates in it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but if it's about ownership, then that's maybe not so much. And that's okay. I'm not saying that anybody's no, wrong no. for one. It's personal politics, and any any answer is valid. And you know, yeah, we're not taking that away from anyone. I, I, but yeah, I, I, but to me, I, I'm taking a why not both approach. Mm. Um, in in so much that yeah, in, you know, and certainly in in a couple of years' time, if if streaming were to be the norm, we're not going to be a like the ownership of of certain AAA titles is a, is will be a thing of the past. I think maybe in ten twenty years' time, there'll be like a game of the century edition where they might might do it down um you know do a do a downloadable version but i to be honest i think most people would have converted to most people converted to netflix so i think most people i don't think there will be the market for downloadable games and i think outside of the the itch um corner um i think i i i can certainly imagine that, that I, I certainly agree with you that the streaming games will be the norm because let's not forget that most companies most of the time make a loss on each console yeah, and so so I I think that companies will pro this will probably be more cost effective to companies on that level, but also companies don't care about spending it if they make the money on the games they can sell more games to more people using streaming, and I think that's the bottom line of it all. But there will still but the market that is also worth considering because it's not a one or the other type of thing, is the 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 market of people who genuinely care, um and and that's a lot of that's the open source market, who might put their games up on itch. And then those are the games that you, you you fall in love with, right? You know, focus your your sincere, like purest uh, endearments for those games, the games that people put their heart and soul into, and just have a good old rollicking romp on uh, on the triple A's when you got a moment. That's, that's kind of yeah, like that's kind of where I fall down. It like I don't think there's any benefit to buying like my favorite game of all time is Star Traders, right? Do I think Star mm -hmm. Traders would it be in any way beneficial over Stadia? No, well, no, of course not. It like it runs on a toaster. Why would I buy it on Stadia? But Doom Eternal, yeah, I want to play it on Stadia. Um, what else do I play? Like the, the anything like like Cyberpunk 26, 2077, Stadia. If I can run it on Intel graphics, I'll play it locally. And also, like when it comes to to a lot of, a lot to do with games and a lot to do with game ownership, comes down to memories, right? A lot of and and I think me personally, yeah. um, the old games. Are uh, like I, I I'm almost all like my childhood is embodied in games that I can own and run and play on Linux through through Wine and Proton. My nostalgia itch has been scratched indefinitely. I think for the largest part, um, although there, 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 there may be more to come, as it were. Um, but um, uh, but oh, I've lost my train of thought. All right. Uh, I want. To, okay, I've basically crashed that one camera, so good for me. Uh, okay. Whoops. Uh, whoops. I think I think we've done enough. Uh, I think we've done enough. Uh, enough uh, show and tell with the keyboard and mouse on the screen. Anyway, you guys have seen like the last what mm -hmm. hour and twenty three minutes of of like my hands. So yeah, we can. I mean, I have to say, from a technical standpoint, I think it's hugely impressive. Uh... Yeah. And the latency might will probably improve, right? Oh yeah. They'll, they'll find. Tricks it's not going to get worse tactics. naturally, you know. You'd assume, unless mm. you know, the mass amount of intake of people and it, it destroys, you know. But even then, you know, with a mass amount of intake, they can afford more servers. Hence, the, you know. Um, oh, I remember what I was going to say now. Is is that like because a lot of gaming is is memories? You know, the nostalgia yeah. itch is largely about memories. I, I think there might be a new purpose for the old style i say old style there's still plenty of out let's play videos mm. maybe that's archived. where it, you know See, maybe that's that's the way that it's archived is the thoughts and, and experiences through through video historically triple a games um i have got a lot of love for the stuff that came out in the Steam bit era and things like that mm. but the current gen of triple a games i mean honestly um I, I probably wouldn't want to back any of them anyway, so maybe that's why I'm kind of on board with Stadia, because as much as I like to play some of them, I don't like that. I, I mean, to be fair, when I say AAA games, though, I'm thinking of the things like Duty, like that. I mean, I've got no interest in backing. Uh, 
Um, I've got oh, a I think I've got, his, got, his, got his jet bike. Ooh. You can do jumps on I'll, them. I'll probably, I'll probably have a go at Stadia when it becomes when it hits mass market. I think. You get a boost button on that. I can't remember which one it is. You do get one. No it jump. It, it can't do jumps. Yeah. That's disappointing. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. <laughs> jump. Also, I, I think Stadia but would I need some you more. Press your jump button and it literally jumps. No, I just get off that. Uh, well. I know it's ridiculous to expect the gaming lineup to be massive at this point, but at the moment, I don't think there's any game on the list that really I. Okay. That I'm in, in excited about, but I expect that that will change in time. Well, let's uh, let's get to the destinations menu. Let's take ourselves back to that first place we started off. Was it the tower? Was that where we went? We're we supposed to go. Was that where we started off? Right. Mm -hmm. well, that's that's your your hub. The tower is my hub, right? Where's the, where is that? Where, where's that place? Or tower is that? of power. I know what I'm doing. This fucking game. Um, is it we're on the moon now? Right? Oh wait, I'm on Earth now. What's this thing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bandar. The moon's where the hub is. I don't, okay. The moon's where the hub is. How the fuck do we get back to that starting area I was in then? The tower? Maybe just go there. That looks, that's just courtyard. I'll just teleport there. I'll launch to there. You get me out of here. Boom. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that and then we're going to go. Oh, I'm also I'm still capturing my whole screen. That seems pointless, doesn't it? Whole <laughs> screen. And I have to say, it's not hammering like. Your connection is it? It seems like you. Oh you know, yeah, let's, let's, so can we see your connection? What kind of uppy downies are you getting? I don't know uppy how downies? to show you that. What do you want to see? Show um, me which tool when... you would like me to run. Oh shit! Uh... No, there's my network history on the screen. There, look. Hold on. My network history is on the screen. Here, look. Is your network uh, history? Yeah, bottom, bottom bottom pain. Pain. Oh, bottom that one. Pain. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the, the uppy downies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you look uh, at the the received and stuff, like, it doesn't look like it's hammered. What's that? What's that number? Um, what's that? What's that number that the blue one's at? I can't see the numbers. Three megasecond. Small. Three megasecond. The blue one. Oh, that's pretty reasonable. That's pretty normal. Oh, 1.93, 1.93, 1.93. Um, yeah, it goes up to five on this on this readout here. Um, and then the bottom one's my up, my up, which is four hundred k up. I'm mm -hmm. not sure that's right. I'm not even... That does seem very low. If my does it, it does, doesn't it? It doesn't seem like it's it's really causing you much bother. Yeah, that's a pretty reasonable. Um, I, I think mean, most yeah. of the UK would be able to deal with that. Um, oh. I think there'll be some parts of the rural community that would struggle, but yeah, um... yeah, maybe. But there again, you don't buy Spud Stadia if you've got shit internet, do you? You know, I mean. The... Okay, yeah. right. So we're gonna try now. We're gonna do something different now. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna exit the game. Right. So hold hold escape to exit the game. I think that's what we do. So I, I do like the keyboard it? integration. I'm I'm a fan. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use the controller. I'm just gonna. Okay, so hold that to exit. Back oh, to exit game. Use, no, I'm, it's no. Well, what it is is my keyboard doesn't have an escape as such. It's a it's a single. Oh, right. I can't hold down escape on my keyboard. So it's fine. It's my it's my fault, isn't it really? Um. Okay. So. So look, so this is just the Chrome browser. Um, what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll uh, Chrome Chromium. We'll install Chromium. Oh, you're gonna try Chromium, are you? Oh, 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 hold on, I got Chrome installed. Okay, we'll come back to that. Yeah, because you installed it specifically for this occasion. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Um, okay, so this is yeah. So let's get down and have a look at what's here. So this is the web interface of this, um, which. Which, yep, doesn't seem to scroll on its own, which is annoying. They're the three games I own. Samurai Showdown, Final Fantasy 15, and and there. You, there's no more. There's no oh, shop. Oh, you bought Final Fantasy oh, By 15. accident. You don't see my messages this morning. I bought oh, it by no. accident. No. I literally, it was on my phone. I was like, let's have a look at that. And because I'm, I was basically sitting at my desk at work, so I had my hand sort of like this, which meant I was covering the fingerprint sensor. And I was like, looking. <laughs> and then it was like, purchased. I was like, what? And I was like, oh, I've just authorized it with my fingerprint. Right. Um, okay. So, yeah, that was, yeah. So, that literally what happened. So, yeah, don't do that, guys. Don't act. But, I mean, thankfully, I really wanted Final Fantasy 15, so I didn't really care. But, you know. I was going to get you that. Well, thank you. Gonna... But, you know, you can't now. Cause, well, like, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You pay for it, so I got you. It's. Okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's uh, let's try. Of you, Cyprus. Long out of that. 
It's, uh... Sorry, Matt. It's so thoughtful of Cyprus to buy. I, it, seriously, no word of a lie. I messaged him yesterday saying, when you've got it all up and running and that, I'll, I'll buy you it for Christmas. No word of a lie. And then he's going to bought it. Is it Google? So, so, yeah. Google. What's, what's, the, what's the package now? Chromium. A Chromium Dash Chromium. browser. The Chromium. Oh, it should come up on Chromium. It's just, it's just fucking Chromium. It's just Chromium. Okay, uh, okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna not share my screen while I log in in case it decides to pop up my password. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, guys. No, no, no. We want your password. We all want Stadia. We take it as personal offence that you don't trust us. And in fairness, that 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 eliminates my need for worrying about like being able to download it if I'm just using your account. It's fine. Oh. Can you share account? So it's two steps. Mm -hmm. Text, okay. we can see your screen, by the way. Uh, no, no, I'll yeah. just turn it off for a password screen. You saw me authorize it on my watch so people know I've got two step. That's passive aggressive security right there on my part. Did you just zap it with your watch? Yeah, I did. So essentially, if I cut off your arm. No, ah, no. Watch. Because if the watch leaves my wrist, it locks. Smart. Hex is smart. You cut for your arm off then. So you if I chop your head off. You have to cut my arm off. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, I don't like the end of that. I just saw this tap. Okay, so um, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, I, I, I mean, I feel like it's, do oh, it's the doing all that. Hold on. Chromium's doing this thing where it pretends to sync for a bit. Uh, it's some elevator music. <laughs> I mean, uh, daily.com. Okay. Will it work with Chromium? Okay. I'm in Chromium right now. I'm going back into Destiny. Although we're not playing yet. Don't get your chickens just yet. Well, okay. All right. Chickens are uh, uncounted. I mean, not that it's a big deal, I think. I mean, you know, like, if you're using Stadia, clearly, you know. Oh, cool. Uh, mm. Other than not being able to click the mm. allow button for the microphone, which is a whole separate problem, it would appear that I can play Destiny on Chromium. Do, do, is, that a, is that a new problem? You cannot click the allow button? I can't click the allow button. I probably can exit the game. Oh, if I, what I'm assuming it's because you're full screen. To okay, be fair. allow. There you go. There you go. Uh, audio not transmitting to anyone. There you go. You're not in part. Okay. Uh, it would appear that I'm playing in Chromium without any problems. So I'll be uninstalling Chrome now then. So yeah. Let's get into the game first. That's great. And also, let's check the performance. Is there a difference in performance? I couldn't see what there should be, but yeah, I absolutely will check. No, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I think, yeah. No, I, I mean, that. Being, because to me, I, 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 being able to get a stadium, Stadia through uh, open source means... Uh, I'm sure there are some uh, proprietary codecs involved in this at somewhere along the way. It's H.265 it uses, isn't it? Suddenly well, slightly is... louder. Am I? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Am you I? are. Uh, I think Stadia. Okay. Up to you. Sorry, guys. I'll try and be quiet. I'll fix that. Uh, oh. Is it annoyingly louder or is it fine? Um, it's uh, fine. I'd say you are slightly louder, but you know. <laughs> I'll fix it in a minute. I'll just talk quiet. Yeah, I like it. I'll Can just talk do, like, quiet. Come on, talk Can't... To me. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. A little bit, little bit loading there. I don't know if that's normal for this game. I assume it is. I don't think it affects the load times. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got it's got initially quite a yeah. long time. Right? I know what I'll do it all. Let me just... Uh, let me just uh... Can you move the ship while you're flying? Like, while Probably. Flying? You should be able to. I don't know if anyone uses Bitbacker, but apparently it was just acquired by Float. Uh, I think it's like Patreon, but for cryptocurrencies. Monitor. I don't... Is that back to where I normally am? Uh, you're still quite loud, I think. Well, that should be back to where I normally am. No, you sound uh, right now. Oh, that's better. When you said, yeah, is that back? There you go, Chris. There, there you go. It's working absolutely fine in Chromium. No problems at all. Uh, 
feels the same, yeah. Almost identical, identical. I'd say exactly the same, I don't think there's any difference. Hmm, thumbs up for open source. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, I won't go that far, but like, it's uh, a little bit no, more... No, that really <laughs> eliminates a lot of issues in the sense that um, you literally can Boing. keep your DRM proprietary Boing. stuff offline. Boing. Well, online, you know what I mean, like yeah. off the yeah. system, but yeah. in a web yeah. browser. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh... Like that. And also, um, for a lot of uh, Linux distributions, uh, they come bundled with Chromium, don't come bundled with Chrome. So it, it's just one less third-party package to have to install. Although you can get it through a flat pack, but I, so I don't know what that, that's... Yeah, you know, what but that's I think most of us would be more comfortable running... And I, I mean, to be fair, Chromium's a decent browser. Um, I do favor Firefox, but... Uh... I, I used Chromium Boy. for a very long time, and I'm very, you know, like happy with it. There are a couple of individual use cases I use Chromium for because Firefox is not supported or is doesn't do as good a job. Um, but I mean, if I usually, get on the Stadia bandwagon, I think I probably will move back yeah. to Chrome um, because I as would, much uh, as it is a little slower than Firefox. Um, it's a decent browser. Uh, yeah, I mean, to me, the the, um, the the politics of Firefox will always uh, be a superseding factor. Okay, like uh, I Stadia, I'll, I'll only use Chromium for for Stadia and and the other stuff. So I, I did have is, my, is that is that working? No, that that's just crashed. That is, I got that camera still fucked. Um, okay, so I would say, okay, the uh, I noticed early on in the game uh, there was an area going through cut tunnels. So there was lots of red light. And then it shifted from red to black very fast. Where that happened, I was seeing some mm. tiny bit of artifacting, but I do mean way less than like like way less than I expected, right? Like a lot less than I expected. Um, I found as I've been playing, I feel like the latency went down as I was playing. Um, I'm not sure if that's I'm not sure what would cause that or why, but that's just how it feels. It feels like when I first started, there was a little bit of latency, and then after that, well, it was it was fine. Well, it is worth pointing out you. Uh, there's a machine learning thing going on where they're yeah. predicting your movements. Yeah. So I suppose it needs to learn what you're doing, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, it needs uh, to absorb your personality. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, Google owned you now. And uh, they need to know what you're thinking. I feel so, like they've been ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. But no, I mean, there is an element of some of the way they've reduced latency is by prediction. Mm -hmm. um, it's very mild apparently and it's not like going to actually you know like where we can all do unpredictable things it's not going to well, ah! I think that was unpredictable mm -hmm. uh, you scared me Chris <laughs> um, the algorithm died because yeah. of Chris I, I can't sit here with a hard on like all this right. um, <laughs> I love the way I just had Matt snicker in the background <laughs> <laughs> um but no, I mean, like, so essentially, you know, maybe that is part of it that initially when you start playing, it's kind of... I, uh, I, I don't know. Um, to be honest, it's their secret sauce. Then you, no one's ever... We can all make some positions about how it works. But the reality yeah, yeah, is, yeah. it's their secret sauce. They're never going to let out. I would assume what they do is they change where the rendering happens in the pipeline. So, like, if you, so if you start moving forward and then halfway through that render, you move back... I would say that it would probably have bought that frame before it sends it to you because it's 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 a combination of things. First of all, H.265 is the lowest, like like the absolute lowest latency for decoding anyway, right? Um, then you've got the fact that the uh, that they're using um, dedicated browser means they're piping that through directly those inputs. They're probably shaving off milliseconds everywhere, so it's probably not one thing that's the magic oh. source. It's all the things they're doing that's the magic source. So oh, essentially, right. what you're saying is Google's secret source is all over your face, neck, and uh, tits. Yeah, uh, yeah, tits. Yeah, you can say tits. Now, here's a here's a thought. So so it's using the the ozone ozone. Hello, 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 hello. Let's uh so. Yeah. Um, I he, um. So it currently is. What do you say? H two eight six. I can never remember. H two six five numbers. Oh, yeah. so that's the new the new one. Yeah. So I've not uh, played this game. We've tried this game. Google have developed, of course, that WebM uh, yeah. thing, but of course that takes a little bit more oomph to encode, which is why I yeah. assume they're not using it, right? But what are the chances, right, of them 
they're going to do a new iteration of this that that, that is for this, right? Yeah. Go, right? They're going to have their own like codec, which I hope they'll open source like they did with their previous codecs. It doesn't um, seem right for a Welshman to go all cockney. Sorry, yeah, it's just, I'm just obsessed with that, <laughs> that yeah. peace man joke. But um, yeah, like it's like um, if they develop this new, like really low latency, you know, WebM codec, um, and fingers crossed, like the previous times, they'll they'll open source it. That, that would be a real boon to the open source world. Yeah. Well, the MP4 is hugely problematic, but it's just nice to 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 get a point in for open source, isn't it? I don't know anything about this game. I assume it's a beat 'em up. It is a beat 'em up. I Why literally, did I didn't buy it. It came through with Stadia. Oh, they just uh, gave it to everyone. I think they're like, we fucked up the launch. Here's another game. game. I don't know. Just, just. Why don't they give you Final Fantasy? Then you don't free copies. <laughs> This is this is looking really like a genuine success story for for Stadia. For, I mean, from this point. Well, I mean, you know, you've got to bear in mind we, we've all we've all seen the YouTube videos where people are slating it and that, but you know, they they're doing it. Physically. There's no reality in it. I mean, uh, and and it's actually really brought to my attention how how bad the whole clickbait culture is because, like, a lot of people say, "Oh, Stadia's dead," stuff like that. I mean. It, not even launched yet. I mean, literally, Hex is on the early access. Mm, this is still early access. You know, it's like um, for day one, day one stuff. You've always got. To, in fact, this is day zero, isn't it? Like, but like, yeah, day, you know, with day one stuff, you've all you've got to be forgiving, haven't you? I mean, this is not up. This is founders edition beta, whatever you want to call it, mm. and it's working as well as we can see here. I mean, I'm pretty uh, impressed. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, I, 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 I look at it and I, I think um, this seems as good as console. Now, that's not particularly high praise, but it's high um, enough, I feel, at this point. Yeah. Without playing it myself, it's really hard mm. to get that. Okay, this is the uh, first, pro okay, first problem point. This game seems mm. to think my controller is player two, right? It seems to think that's what's happening. The keyboard is player one. So, Stadia's dead. Stadia's dead. All right, yeah, so dead. F in chat. Let's all go home. All right. Well, it was a good okay. idea. Well, let's uh, exit that and relaunch that without touching the keyboard. Perhaps I'll touch the keyboard. That was a problem. Okay. No, not touch the keyboard. Mm. Stadium is crap. Stadia is crap, and you're crap Stadium. for liking it. Stadium, Stadia, whatever. It's... Well, they, I mean, I, I did find it hilarious to watch Gamers Nexus cut open one of the controllers earlier because they just get into the fuck. Yeah, keyboard oh. connected. It really wants the keyboard. Okay, it really wants the keyboard to be player one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, that's fine. We can figure this oh, out. I, was a keyboard I mean, I mean, I've got to be fair here. You're going to be shit on either. I mean, I'm not going to play this game ever. I mean, it's one of the things where I almost didn't bother redeeming it because I just didn't care. Um, but yeah, I figured why not cost them some money. You're gonna have fun uh, at their expense tomorrow. Uh, let's, uh... I, 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 I had a... I don't know if you saw... Uh, me and DJ's got into a conversation with somebody about Stadia the other day. About the fact that, um, Stadia isn't really using Linux. It's How's using... That? It's using a kernel... Linux kernel, which for the, Instantly he lost his argument. Um... That was uh, running this and this and this from so and so and so and so, and yeah, I mean, like I didn't take the obvious I mean, opportunity because he was like, he was like, oh, because you can't say that Android and, and Chrome are, are Linux. And they are. I was like, well, yeah, well, Linux. you do know that like Linux, as we tend to call it, just Linux, isn't. Um, okay. Linux is a kernel. Um, I mean, we can that's say all it is, though. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I mean, does it run big... on the Linux kernel? Yes, it's Linux. Mm. That is important. I know that. I know that we've had the conversation of is the kernel really that important? I, I mean, I'm. Well, yes. I mean, I won't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want Unix like I'm not too bothered about the kernel. No, 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 and that's fine. But it was just the whole thing of like the conversation was like it's not really Linux. 
B B BSD has, you know, I've got a, exactly. I've got a place in my heart for, for BSD too. Yeah. So, and I like Unix like as well. So, so just because I just because I'm in Camp Linux doesn't mean that I I dislike BSD. I think that there are some some advantages to BSD, and I think there's some disadvantages. The same with Linux, you know. Um, it's it's the world is a complicated place, and 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 the world of software is no different. So I like that we have both. Um, and I'm always intrigued when you get like there was that attempt to put Ubuntu onto the BSD kernel. I thought that was kind of interesting, and would have liked to have seen more from from that. But um, you know, all things considered, as long as it's not Mac or Windows. Yeah, but I mean, like that. The, yeah, it was just one of these weird conversations where it was like clearly, it he was reasonably well educated technically, but clearly didn't actually understand that that, that what we call Linux. At, I uh, I I already hate this game. Um, oh, I've just launched GIMP. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what's. Oh, well, we've always got time for the GIMP. Just gonna, I'm just gonna. Do you want to do a thumbnail? Wait for a laugh. Just gonna exit <laughs> GIMP now. Just gonna exit that now. Yeah, that that's a problem, I and mean, that does not. I mean, I wonder if that's because in Chromium, maybe we should try Chrome with that same game and see if that's a difference. Yeah, uh, yeah. Keep it just, did you run a shortcut key, or what? What happened there? Did you click oh, on it? Oh no, no, that, that was on me. That was. And also, I mean, is it worth checking your settings in Stadia itself? Yeah, no, I already have. Um, okay, so I'm going to quit Chromium, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to go back to uh, running Google Chrome and see if I have the same problem with that game. And, and I, I'd also say this isn't a problem that Steam doesn't have. Yeah, I'm fucking yes, too, right? Yeah. Uh, the amount of times I've been player two playing Rocket League. Yeah. So this is an experiment of a, again, experimenting. Lots of experiment. We should be wearing white lab coats. Don't you? You know, you you got it's beta. Mm. Got to be vigilant and uh, scientific. No, play, keyboard connected. Players two controls are connected. Exactly the same problem. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the first game that like that's the first problem we've had. Now that I mean, honestly, I'm like sure. I'll that. Pick it up. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that's a bug that can sort out. So let's go with Final Fantasy. Let's see how that goes. Being a single player game, this should be better. Yep. Yeah. Is this this is this is back in Chrome now, right? We're back in Chrome, but I don't think I honestly I don't think there was any difference between the two. It seemed exactly the same. I'm just back in Chrome because I can't bother reading <laughs> Chromium. I don't you know think what? what? I'm just I'm just going to go on record here and saying Ozone is like my favourite people in the whole wide world. I mean, you don't get that level of snark from anyone else. He's all snark all the time. I love it. I fucking love it. Honestly, if he, if he wasn't already involved, I'd be shagging that man. Did I say that? <laughs> I mean, I don't uh, think just because he's married, it, that should stop you having sex with him. Uh, there's kids in Okay, let's try, yeah. let's try options. Uh, difficulty combat. Yeah, as all these games, there's no there's no options for graphical settings. I mean, which does make sense, um, but you know, they feel like PC games. They're not. So no, but uh, you don't want. I mean, this is actually one of the. Uh, uh, I think it would be. Be honest with yourself. If I said to to any PC gamer, have you ever had to sit there and dial in your settings? Uh, most the majority competent PC users would say yes, and I know the hardships of that. Um, because sometimes, you know, it's it's completely, it's like what the fuck? I, that should not make it that lower frame rate. You know, this thing that I can turn yeah. on should be this lower frame rate, but I can turn on this and it's fine. It's like we've all done that thing of like, you know, and I kind of like not having. What's happening? <laughs> Who's this fella? Um, that's you. That's me? Yes. Oh shit. Should have done the tutorial, shouldn't I? You're kind of doing it now, dude. Uh, I'm doing... This is the tutorial? Okay, it's fine. Oh, I can I, I, I can never be with, with those. Donald Trump says I'm not good. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I might have uh, got killed because I was changing the volume. No, you're fine. Honestly. Drink some tea. You can't die on this bit. It's just, it's, it's Final Fantasy. It's there for shits and giggles. That guy's got a pistol. I want a pistol. Well, you can leave it. I want to be here with a pistol. I don't know what's happening. the ability to swap characters. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Is this? I, I I I saw a review of this that was like it's best friends riding a car for like thirty hours and it's the end. And I was like, that sounds great. It's just a road trip, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, shiny town. What is this? Attack on Titan. That's in one of the games that's out on Stadia. Where's well, an Attack on Titan game? Yeah. I will say right now, Hex, if you are going to play this, yeah, you will want to restart this off stream and play it. To oh, I know that. I know, I know probably that. also want to watch the two films yeah, yeah, no, came no, out. I know that. I'm, I'm on okay. board. I'm just. This is just me testing what's available. Then we're going to stop the stream. Um, Ozone. I did. I unboxed this box uh, for YouTube, which goes out after midnight for me. Um, and this very Wait stream. I someone asked if you noticed any latency. Um, what in the box? Box the unboxing. What's the latency opening the box? I mean, there was, to be fair. Fucking Stadia's dead. Fuck it. It's dead I mean, to me. I mean, I mean hold, on, hold on. Look at this. Look at this for latency. Look at this for latency. Box opening latency. Look at that. That is some box opening latency right there. Bastards. Look at that. They, they, they've hidden the latency in box the box. Opening. I like the fact that in the underside of the lid, there's like a mold for the controller. So, like, clamp that's kind of cute. That's a, so you can make, like, jelly mold. I'm just like, I just want this to be over so I can run around and check the latency and stuff. <laughs> Wait, the box is white. Racism. Raced, yeah. No, uh, for the, my first, anyway, my first video about Stadia goes out after midnight tonight when I'm upload when I've uploaded the unboxing, the initial unboxing, early rambly thoughts. Um, this very stream is then being uploaded about six in the morning for me, so I don't want to tell that be for you. And then uh, I will be doing... Then I will be sort of probably having a more formal video where I break down my actual more evolved thoughts on Stadia. Um, probably as part of X-Pen this week, to be honest, because I think by then I would have had a good play with it. Mm -hmm. I'd be a good X-Penguin. Oh, X-Penguin's always a good hoot. Oh, that was a good sneeze. I'm, 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 I want this guy to stop. Can, can we skip the cutscene just so I can get to the game for this purpose? I have to say this, because I've played this, um, I could comment graphically, and I know it's in a cutscene, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it is ludicrously sharp. I mean, like, legit. I mean, I know Destiny 2 didn't seem as sharp as we thought it should be, but yeah, this is... The, yeah. It's hard to say as well, because, like, some games just aren't, you know? <sighs> And also, you know, I'm watching a stream. And yeah, yeah, when I looked you, at the yeah. picture, it, it was a different... Yeah. It wasn't massively different, but it was enough different yeah. that I could see, uh, you know. Okay. I am so pleased you're going to get to play this. Don't get me wrong, it's not like any Final Fantasy you've ever played before. And yeah, no, I mean, that's one it. of the reasons I, I kind of wanted to play it, though. I mean, I liked but, it so much, I accidentally bought it. Yeah, twice. Twice. Best friends on a road trip. Where's my road trip? Where are my boys? Boys on a road. Oh, there they are. So this makes no sense so far, and I'm not really paying attention. No, 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 no. It doesn't. And uh, like, if you start paying attention, plot A, you do need to have watched the two films that came out with it. Can I just wait? Well, back up. You see this guy here with the shirt on, right? That guy was like with the tattooed arm They've and the all shirt. They've got shirts on. That that guy there, the walking right guy, right? See that guy there, yeah? That guy there? You see him? He's fucking yeah. beautiful, he is. He's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful man. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's fucking beautiful. That's what look I look like in, in a sleepless time. Do you not know this? Uh, fucking hell. You know, right from your mother. Oh, R2. No, this looks all right. This looks decent graphically, I'd say. I mean, like, looking at the sides, looking at the surrounded area and stuff like that, seems pretty damn sharp. 
Uh, Ozone, when you get on board of that Final Fantasy game, you know what you're getting into, mate. You know what you're getting into. Gladius is ass. Is, is, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, that's... Look at that. That's... Look at that. uh, that's, uh, mm. that's um, There's some deep pockets. I think I like boys now. Do me a favor. Yeah. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice. I mean, you know. Pronto. Don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Why is there a beat in the car? We just switch back what? Why is there a what? What's this music? The fuck? I don't know. I haven't got the music on. Obviously, I'm talking to you. Easy there, tough mm -hmm. guy. I mean, like. <laughs> This is going to sound wrong. Not that I'm paying ridiculous attention. Is it because he's um, distracted by his arse? Looking at Gladius's arse, you can see the designs on his pocket. You know, it, it's got... Clearly, it's pretty good fidelity. You know? It's, uh... <laughs> this is brilliant. Mm. I keep I kept looking at the chibi version of this on the Switch and thinking, should I? Should I? I think I might. I'll play a section on, on this, then play a section on the Switch version, then do compare and contrast. Is this it? This is well, the whole I mean, game? I mean, you certainly can't accuse this game of being misogynistic, can you? That was beautiful. Objectify all the things. <laughs> that was great. I don't know where it was. I really enjoyed that. That was great. I pushed the car this for a bit. This is pretty much that. I mean, like, literally, this <laughs> game is beautiful boys go on a road trip. Beautiful boys on a road trip. Yeah, with that arse, you could push that for thirty hours. This is now this this game is is like this is ludicrously sharp. This looks I, like it's being rendered. To locally. be fair, I, I say you can't accuse it of being misogynistic, and then I just realised at the point you're at, and that's going to change. But <laughs> yes, there's the change. Yes. Oh yes. god. Um. Yeah. All right. I'll take that back. But you know. No, it's objectified all the things. That's fine. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. You objectify everyone, and it's all good. That's mm -hmm. just yet. That's a quality, isn't it? For so long. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> Sexually and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was I thought it was straight till I saw that fella. Sandy. Yeah. Sid's monkey granddaughter. You haven't yeah. seen him carry his big chopper yet. Um this, guy, this game's fucking weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A quality objectification. That that's what we want, Valmir. I'm I'm in yeah. favour of objectifying all the things. Especially the car. I mean, everybody likes being objectified, don't they? No. What? You don't like people looking at you as a sex object? Because I love it. You like when people look at me as a sex object? Well, I look at you as a sex object. But I meant me. So, so Chris, yeah. how you doing? Matt, how you doing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Are you, are you as sexually confused about the beautiful boys as I am? Not so much. I I just like well, I'm waiting for the, patiently for the the gameplay to start. Yeah, same. I mean, it's a Final Fantasy game. This is on brand as fuck so far. Okay. Um, it's it's not my um, uh, it's not my uh, usual uh, jaunt. I've, I've played one or two over the years. Uh, they're usually good. That car is amazing. You can turn it into a four by like a big like monster truck or a flyer. Great. Well, Mark, is that person in the yellow oh. like the hat? Has she been in it before? She they're they're all the guy, characters but... sort of not all the characters follow fancy sort of versions of them appear in other games. But her dad or granddad or something is Sid. Well, Which know much about. Well, well, Sid is is a, well, he's is... a different person in every game, but it's Sid. I don't know how to explain it better than that. I wish I had yeah. a better. No, I mean that. I mean, these are things that only make sense to Final Fantasy players, unfortunately. Mm. I don't really understand Final Fantasy. I mean, no. okay, let's do our latency test. Let's do our super scientific latency test. Okay. Yeah, there's basically. Slower, actually. I think that's the animation because he crashes down yeah, before I was he jumps. Say, uh, he doesn't. He d it, there, there is an element in this game where, okay, so, like, you know, you press the button and then they sort of do literally the go down jump. It's... Yeah, I'm There's not. There's a technical term for it. I can't remember it though. I'm. I'm quite. Yeah, I don't feel unhappy with that. That this feels. Yeah, at least as good as Destiny. 
I would say, in fairness, uh, of the <coughs> games, this should show less than Destiny in a lot of ways because uh, it's slower moving. You don't have to be that sort of you know pinpoint accurate with it. Like don't that. talk to that lady again. Well, the pretty lady. Does it stop <laughs> being a pervert, Matt? So the qu the question is, like the beautiful it... boys. How does it feel in in a you know like just a does it bother you know does it bother you does it even do you notice it after a while I mean I know you very honestly with it. Destiny when I first loaded it up I did feel I did feel like there was a little bit of latency but then by the time by the time I'd been playing it for forty minutes I, that was just I felt it felt fine like there was no, your brain you almost adapt into it or was it that it kind I of... genuinely think the latency went down after I started right. playing and I think I think it was measuring my connection I think Stadia measures your connection and I think once it got my connection down it knew what it was doing and yeah, I think there was a lot of I think this is all their secret sauce in play now you but should this... be going out into the first mission you should have to go off into oh I know I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking yeah. around I'm, I'm getting oh, a feel for it I'm looking around here yeah. I'm, not, I'm not worried about that I'm, I'm having a little look around um, do you are do you uh are you playing with a VPN on or off? The, I turned the VPN off for this stream, not because of uh, Stadia, but because uh, the last few weeks my VPN has randomly gone down about eight o'clock. So uh, I've uh, I've turned it off for the stream. But yeah, I think it wouldn't be unreasonable to expect that I'll have to turn a VPN off while I play Stadia. I think that's probably a reasonable statement, to be honest. Well, yeah, you're definitely going to add extra latency. Yeah. Because obviously it's got to go through something to something, yeah. You know, but right? again, like my VPN, like is on all the time. If I just turn it off, turn it off of the evening I'm playing. Oh that's look, Hex, it knows it's you playing. It's asked you if you want easy mode. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm alright with that too. <laughs> yeah, get used to using. Don't be afraid of using potions. Um, you know, like in the the other Final Fantasy games where you kind of just harvest potions. Yeah. Yeah. You. You. you yeah. You. You, that doesn't happen. Just buy as many as you can when you can. I think uh, I think that that is partly the case. What Linux Paul has said is that at this stage, like Hex and us are on the lookout for latency anyway. Yeah. After a after a bit of um, uh, once that um, critical eye subsides, I think it, it could easily become less of an issue as well. I'm already like watching Destiny, watching him shoot people and stuff like that. I'm already happy. I mean, the fact that I'm I could, the fact wise. that I could hit shit in Destiny tells you a lot, you know. Like that I didn't, I wasn't having problems with hitting stuff. It was fine. And they move like fuckers in that game. They really do, because like unlike normal games where like you know a human sidesteps, they move like an inch on your screen. Yeah. In that game, they kind of seem to just jump around like no. Yeah. Um, but that's part of the fun of it, you know. Don't get me wrong; I'm not criticising the game for that. I'm just saying that you know, that's that, that they're not afraid to kind of make you work. So, what does a fucker move like? Like I've just explained it. God, are you not? Content? Yeah, fuckers move, man. Hmm. Yeah, crikey. Okay. You know, I'm going off him. No, um. I'm not. Oh, you get to do the cooking game if you go and stay in the thing. Oh, you could learn a new recipe. Broken down and okay. Consults Recipes are important. You're going to learn that food is really important in this game. Food's really important everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go that way then. The map's nice. The map, the reticle's nice. Yeah. Generally, again, I'm not convinced this would run this smoothly on my machine locally. Mm, I think, yeah, I, I think if you were running Windows, I Maybe. would say that, but you know what I mean. You might get a similar performance, but I think, you know, running with Linux now, I don't think you might. Anyway, two seconds. Well, I've got a, uh, I've got the same graphics card as you, and I, I will say that I... Uh... I would be particular. I, I don't. I. 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 I, th I think you're right. Yeah. I think a 970 would really struggle with this. Okay. Okay. Eliminate pests. Pests. 
He's got a long face. He's like half horse or some shit. Teach him not to underestimate us. I mean, Scratch, the VR... I mean, I know everyone says that VR is not possible on Stadia because of latency, speed, light, blah, blah, blah. But I honestly think, like... I, I think you'll find that in a few years, this, like, internet will get better. Compression will get better. Stadia will get... But, you know, streaming game and eventually could deliver VR. Mm. I mean, let's remember, this is day one. Yeah. Everything's turning into Ready Player One, basically. I mean, yeah, basically, this is. I mean, when Google talk about their Dragon MMO and stuff and the stuff that's got literally, like, literally no limitations on compute, they can just throw more compute. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that that that's just me. Like, okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be just leaping off things blindly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, it's not day one. Game. It's day three, Chris. I got mine late. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, it's it's okay. patch level one. How about that? All right. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Okay. What was I supposed to do? B to hit. Oh, it's actually more like real time combat. Rather. Yeah, it's quite cool. Can I lock on somehow? Oh, yeah. I uh. I haven't really seen much of Final Fantasy since like eight or nine or something. So it's assumed it was turn based. Yeah, well, that was news to me as well, to be honest. Okay, what's this over here? What's this? What's this? In uh, slightly other news, um, I've been uh, playing around with News Blur, and it's it's kind of cool. I like it. I'll have to check it out. Is there a, is there a fee to it or anything? Uh, there is. Uh, well, I paid thirty-five dollars for a year of pro. Right. Um, but I have a look. I th there is a free version. Uh, I'll see what it offers. But it, I, 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 I quite like. It is open source, so that's the. I, I'm, I'm, I might buy a, a subscription to Inno Reader as well and do a bit of a comparison. Yeah. See what like. Inno Reader is very good, Chris Features and I think, ooh, some of those bells and whistles are kind of nice. In fact. Uh, I was reading some reviews on um, Alternatives 2, and a lot of people were saying uh, something happened with Feedly, I can't remember what it was, and it pushed a, a fair number of users over to Inner Reader, and they said the Inner Reader was better. Like, it was almost like the, the universal opinion was that Inner Reader yeah. was better than Feedly. That's um, the one I've used. The uh, it doesn't give price. The thing about, yeah, it doesn't give pricing. Uh, it's not very easy to find the pricing. It what it's one of those things where it wants you to sign up for the free account and then and then jump the pricing on you. I think. Um, uh, yeah. Do you know how much in a reader is? Does anyone uh, know how much? I can, I can go and check for you in a bit. I'm going to end the stream in a minute, so I can do well in a little bit, so I can check for you anyway. But uh, yeah, Everyone I think it's about noodles. Does anyone have mm -hmm. noodles? It's because you're a boy. You're watching the boys in the car. Might be. Why does his sword magically appear in his hand? Oh, I might buy a second monitor. I told you that happened, didn't I? <laughs> I can do. So I mean, much. a really small 1440, a smaller 1440. It's like a supplementary one. Yeah. I mean, even though this one's currently got a blue line down the middle of it, it's 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 performing a decent function as a second monitor. No, it's got a blue line down it, Matt. Don't be an idiot. Can just buy another monitor. <laughs> so, uh, even be, I would suggest keeping it the same resolution, but the size isn't that important. Then we had for golden key. I think the resolution matters the, all the given, size. Given the price of the monitor I bought, it's not like it, it is a little bit out of my price range to buy another one right now. But yeah. I might buy that exact monitor again in like. I mean, I've got. I mean, that's why I went with three the same because it's beautiful. But I do. I am at the point where like I've talked about monitors last night. I'm like, I want to change monitors. I feel like a hypocrite because I've been like saying for years that no one needs a second one. No, no one you needs. do. You do. <laughs> I think it's just, I wonder if it was born out of jealous. It says Inner Reader's $5 a month on a website. It also says that Feedly's 5 41 a month and it's gone up to 6 for its base, its first tier of pro. I wonder if there are any uh, Stadia servers in oh. the server farms near me, in a certain trading estate. 
Uh, you'd you'd know if you had a you'd know if you had a Google server farm near you, Matt. There'd be a big fucking great sign everywhere. <laughs> well, I, never uh, I uh, been sorry, guys. I'm gonna just grab something to eat. I'll be back in a short okay. while. Okay. I assume they wouldn't want to advertise their locations. I don't know. Why well, wouldn't they? They Google. Hello. Hey, it's Cindy. How goes it? Cindy. It's Cindy. That's great. Cause I got one Cindy. more thing for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. I know a Cindy in real life. So really? I've never met yeah. Cindy. She's my friend's wife. Is she just a knockoff Barbie? Oh, She's uh, like. She's like, no, she's she's not really. Uh, she's not. She's not. Okay. She's like makeup person. She's like there was always the Cindy dolls and the Barbie dolls when I was a kid. Totally not into dolls. Um, yeah. And uh, I always felt like Cindy was a knockoff Barbie. I mean, Cindy was a knockoff Barbie. Yeah. Apparently, I was I read something on the BBC a while ago, some fluff article about Cindy's being quite valuable now. Because probably not obviously collectible to a certain demographic for sure. Oh, weird dogs attacking me. You okay? The weird dog. Oh, wow. Okay. This is actually so, so what is this? what's the cost breakdown the stadium? You have the one-off cost to get them. Okay, actually, it's a good time to do this. Uh, can I just? Oh, okay, I can't say. Let me finish this fight, and I'll break it all down for you because I can't save in a fight. Okay. This looks kind of cool, actually. I mean, I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, but as a game, I'm probably using the wrong weapon for this. Reminds me of near Automata a little bit. Yeah, it's got a vibe to it for definite. I'm not sure it's. It's not like it, I mean, we've certainly got the vibe. I mean, you're not an android running around in your pants, fighting robots. It's, it's also, don't diss Nier, man. Nier's fucking art. It's great. I know, I love it. I love Nier. <laughs> it's great. I need to, win, need to uh, I kind of bounced off it quite hard. But I did a fair amount of it, but uh, I should probably go back and try it again. Yeah, save in there. I take it save games take care of themselves on Stadia. I take it like just save and you have to worry about space and stuff. Okay, so let's uh, exit this game for now. Um... Hold on the steady button. Exit Phil, game. that was almost scripted. So what is the cost breakdown? So what is the cost well? breakdown? Well, I'm glad you asked, Matthew. <laughs> okay, it's 119 <laughs> human earth pounds for the uh, the box. Um, I've got the founder's box, right? The founder's box comes with uh, three months of the Stadia Premium as well. Uh, it comes with a Chromecast Ultra, which, by the way, is the best picture quality I've ever seen in a Chromecast. And I've used a lot of Chromecasts, right? So I'm happy with that. Um, and the controller, right? Uh, also, two power adapters, one for the pad, one for the controller, one for one for the Chromecast. Um, <laughs> two wires. Uh, you can't get this particular version now because this is the Founders Edition. Uh, it also gives me this little star next to my name. Yeah, a little star. You won't get the star. But if you buy the Premier Edition, you get all that stuff. I don't know how many months of the on, how many months of the premium you get. It might be two, might be one. I honestly don't know. Um, but you don't get the little star next to your name, which is the most important thing in Stadia. <laughs> it's the star next to your name. You could sell, um, you could sell your account in ten years' time. For prob a I mean, million probably because the little star. Who knows? Uh, I think the, oh, you do think it was three months pre. You get three months with the pre with the uh, with the uh, launch of. I think uh, so, I think you get Samurai Showdown and Destiny with pre with. With the, with the big box, but with the, the founders, but you don't, I don't know anyway. But yeah, monthly, it's nine ninety nine a month, right? Um, if right. if you want to pay it. If you don't want to pay the nine ninety nine a month, you can simply buy a game and play a game up to mm. ten up to 1080p at 60 frames a second. Um, if you want to go to 4K, or in your case, 1440, you need to pay for premium. Now, that's not mm. a problem, because if you're not paying for premium, it's just going to scale to the size of your monitor anyway. It's not like it's going to be in the middle. Mm. It's going to scale, and it's going to be fine. Um so far, now I can't show you the store on the screen, but I can load up the Android version. I can tell you a few bits and bobs about the store. Um, pricing wise, I mean, it's not unreasonable. Now, game, I don't think it's ever going to be the cheapest way to buy games because they're also hosting the, the, the streaming, so that's going to that's going to affect it as well. But uh, you've got like Mortal Kombat 11 for 34.99, Assassin's Creed Odyssey for 27.50, which I'm a little bit curious about actually. I could I could see myself playing that one. Um, Metro Exodus seventeen pounds fifty. Final Fantasy was twenty six. Um, Tomb Raider the the first of the reboots eight pound. Red Dead Redemption is fifty four. Yeah, there's like 
they're you reasonable, think, see, like, reasonably scaled. Yeah. Like I mean, what? They're reasonable. I, mean, I wonder what. I mean, I, I, I was looking in the store myself, and I saw that Cyberpunk's coming onto it. Yeah, that's Do you the reckon one. That's going to be priced at like a like fifty quid or something. I, I, I mean, it would be in the best interest of Google to keep it within a couple of pound of the price the, the, the price it is on the PlayStation, essentially. Um, because Stadia sees itself as a console, not PC gaming. So I think it, it's in their best interest to just price as a console. So, mm. you know, I don't think pricing is going to be an issue. You're always going to be cheap buying on Steam because of the nature of Steam. So essentially, like the two costs, the buying a thing, and then you don't have to buy premium, but it is there. Yeah, and I think, I mean, game cost. it's worth buying premium because you get, you get a game a month um, or thereabouts. Like, I've got Guest 2 Collects Edition as part of my premium. Okay. Like, why would I not want that? That's like a fifty quid game so for my pound. So like, yeah, I mean, the, my point, my point is on it that it's like price wise, it's perfectly reasonable. And uh, as soon as at the moment you can't pay yearly, but as soon as you can pay yearly, I'll just pay for the year. Then not worry about it. It just seems like the obvious solution. Just pay for the year. I mean, one hundred and twenty quid a year. You can, if you get yeah a bunch of free games in there. Like yeah, yeah, and obviously, if you want to subscribe, those games go away. So it's always an incentive to stay subscribed. Okay. But people on console pay the same amount, right? People on console pay the exact same amounts. So I and you retain all the access to any games that yeah. you buy and all. Yeah, that. Well, yeah, you, yeah. The well, games you buy. Um, I mean, you say that, but I don't think it's going anywhere. Google have so much money that it's in. That if they can just like reach into the into gaming as a market, you know, like I just played Destiny two and Final Fantasy fifteen um, without downloading a fucking thing. I hit part, I hit mm. buy, and then I hit play. That was it. Now that to me is worth. That's worth you know all the any downsides. The right, totally worth it. I wonder me. what the I wonder what the sort of data transfer like how, how much is actually taking uh, at 4k it's 20 gig an hour at 4k 20 gig an hour at 4k oh, 4k yes yeah, so you can t- divide that by four roughly for 1080 mm. it's not um, too bad five gig same as netflix pretty much pretty much exactly the same as mm. netflix um yeah yeah then, well that's the thing though the only reason people don't play 4k ozone is because their pcs can't but if you've got a 4k monitor just fucking play stadia there's there's, there's no reason not to I'm considering it for Cyberpunk, to be honest, because uh, yeah, because oh. my computer is never going to run that. And admittedly, I haven't been that interested in it. Yeah, but, but do you find that you're I, not interested I don't in games? Know, because, I don't know if it's because I don't have. Yeah, I don't have. A, I, I think I'm sort of getting into a mindset of going, "Oh, my computer can't run that, so I don't care." Yeah, that, that's so that, where that's, that, that that's, can eliminate that. That yeah. could be interesting. It's yeah. like I really want to. As soon as I found out Destiny Two was the, one of the games on stage, I was like, I started looking at Destiny Two, and I was like, I actually, do want to play this. It looks like fun. But while yeah, I was, Destiny Two looks kind of interesting. Yeah, but while I was I playing, think. while 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 I wasn't thinking I could play it, I just ignored it. But yeah, um, yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I, I mean. I never would have thought about a 4K monitor, but now Stadia's thing. I'm like, I could probably, I could buy a 4K monitor. I could play 4K. Let's do and it. And you have to use the Stadia controller, or can you no. use anything? No, you can use anything. Yeah, you can use anything. Um, at the moment, the Stadia controller only works wirelessly with a Chromecast Ultra, um, yeah. but that they've said this is temporary. This is just a case of their firmware's not ready. So that that's reasonable, right. I think, kind of on an early launch. Because um, earlier on, I was using my game server to test it. Yeah. Uh, so in reality, all they really need to you need to buy is a Chromecast Ultra or something. no, no. I mean, yeah, you know, well, no. In reality, you don't need to buy anything. In reality, oh, okay. all you need to do is wait till it's launched or get a buddy code. So right. wait till oh, it's yeah, officially launched, get a buddy code. Um, but I would say that if you think you want to plan a TV, so the Chromecast Ultra on its own is like sixty quid, and they're very, very good. I mean, I love mm-hmm. Chromecast; they're great. I think um, we've got a Chromecast, but it's yeah. not an Ultra. But... Although the Ultra has literally just recently come out, I think. So yeah, um, okay. but it's worthwhile for that. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this on Chrome Linux right now. Yeah, um, we tested Chromium. I don't know if you was here for that, but it works fine as well. Uh, yes, I tried the Chromecast earlier. Um, the Chromecast worked fine. I would say there's less latency on the Chromecast than there is in the PC, but that might mm. be because I was in a, on a controller, not a keyboard and mouse. That might have been why it struck me like that. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Chromecast Ultra was like fucking magic. You just pick up your pad and you go like, um, I think it's up down X A or something. It just activates Stadia on the Chromecast, and it's just it's all right there. You can just like go in the menu and stuff. It's great. Yeah. But yeah. The Chromecast Ultra though is a really good piece of kit. I mean, even if you're not interested in Stadia, Chromecast Ultra can stream at four K, four fucking K to a, to a TV, and it like it's just a monster. It's it's so fast as my. I mean, this was I was playing on Wi Fi earlier, but I've got some time off this weekend. Um, so I'm going to lay a cable in the living room and connect it up wired because, you know, why wouldn't I at this point, you know? Yeah. 
I mean, maybe a bit of much of an outlay for me at the moment. Uh, why wouldn't I? Waifu, no. Um, in my house, man, people expect cables. Like, if, like, in my house, if, like, if I'm, like, if I'm, like, I'm putting this cable down, people are like, why? And I'm, like, because it, it makes your Netflix faster. They'll be, like, do it. Do it now. <laughs> no one gives a shit in my house as long as, it, as long as, as long as there's a benefit to stuff, they're, like, fine, do it. They don't care. It's great. I don't mind wires. <laughs> Yeah, my wires are fine. I'm also like in the living room. It's like you go from the back of the sofa, up the, up the back of the, the, the bookcase. Hello. You won't see it. Speaking of waifu, hello. But yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I'm now going to stop this stream, though, guys. Um, thank you for hanging out, other guys on stream. Um, I'm going to stop the stream. I'm going to upload this to YouTube so it releases tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, so this stream will be make it to YouTube. If you've got to the end of the stream on YouTube. Uh, you literally owe me a like and a subscribe. Um, and if you don't give it me, well, fuck you. I'll haunt your dreams forever. Um, yeah. With his penis out. With my penis yeah. out. It's out right now, actually. That's why I had to be RB earlier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I say, I, I could have been... I mean, there's obviously more tests to be done. And when I've when I've literally... Like, this has all been quite performative. But when I'm literally, like, like feet on desk, chilling out, drinking a cup of tea, playing Stadia... You know, when I've got into that mindset and I've, and I've played a few more games, I'll have a lot more to say. So hopefully by X Penguin on Saturday, I'll have a lot more thoughts on that. And, you know, maybe I'll see if Chris can join me to go back and forth on it with me as well. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'll think i have more to say about it because I need to play it more. And that's one of the reasons I'm ending the stream now so I can actually sort of just go chill out and play it. So if you watch this on YouTube anyway, like, subscribe. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, all things considered, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I guess good night, everybody. Um, Night. Night. Say good night, Matt. No. Fair enough. <laughs>